welcome to CNET Live, brought to you live early on this Tuesday morning from the CNET studios in San Francisco. My name is Lexi Savides. It's so great to have your company. We are going to be talking all things Apple for the next, I guess, couple of hours. We don't really know how long this event is going to be, but you're going to stick with us, hopefully, and, and get to know everything about the new iPads, the new MacBooks. At least that's what we're expecting anyway. But there's so much to talk about, so many rumors to jump into. Before we get started, I want to introduce the wonderful panel. I have the CNET Live crew coming to you live here from San Francisco. Are we awake? Patrick Holland. Here and awake. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, well, that was a very dramatic turn. I love it. I, you liked it. I did that. I love a lot it. of coffee in that turn. Thank you. A lot of coffee in that I'm turn. That. <laughs> you, coffee well, fuel. Well, don't introduce. I can't. I have to introduce. No, no, you oh, can't. Guys, wait. You have to wait. 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 Okay. And now, next up, we have Vanessa Hand Oriana. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick drew of me. It's very, very early. Lexi. It is did very you early. It's very, very early. It is in very San early. So it is six a.m. <laughs> six. Well, it's it was six a.m. It is six thirty a.m. on. On the West Coast, it is 9.30 on the East Coast, and that is where the event is happening. <laughs> but also, Stephen Beecham, the man with the magic. Present. Good morning. And coming to us live from L.A., Ashley Esqueda. Say fine. hello. There she is. Hi, friends. Hi. Hello. We're so glad <laughs> to have away. you on the show. I know. Not enough coffee in the world. That's what I say. I know. <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to be coming to you very shortly, Ashley. And if you have questions about what we're going to see today at the Apple event, you can tweet us on the hashtag CNETLive. And uh, we will also have a little bit of a fun game that we can play along to. I'll, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Um, but first up, let's cross live to the exterior of the Brooklyn Academy of Music. This is a live shot. This is coming to you from Brooklyn. So the event is about 30 minutes <laughs> Uh, from now, it is happening as like a different event from Apple's usual West Coast fair. This is the Brooklyn Academy of Music, the Howard Gilman Opera House. Sounds very fancy. I actually have sound from there. Oh, there, there is just, sound. Let's hear the exterior. It too loud. There we go. <laughs> Blast you in the morning. Okay, here we go. So even the ambience. Th that reminds musical. me a little bit of the of the Apple events in San Francisco that were held at the um, at the Bill Graham. At the Bill Graham. Yeah, yeah it, it does. It does. Well, and I hear the I hear the like cool that. kids call the Brooklyn Academy music Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> bam. 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 It sounds like Bam, and the dirt is gone. Do you have those ads here? No. 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 Okay. No, you're thinking. Anyway. Oh, there's also the chef. What's his name? Emerald. Whatever. It's like Bam. Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. Anyway, well, this is actually the second event that Apple has held outside of the, I guess, the West Coast this year. Chicago was the first one, the iPad mm. event earlier in March. Mid Midwest, Lexi. Midwest. Midwest. Mm -hmm. Well, that Brooklyn that is not Chicago. The mid Chicago's Midwest. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm like, I'm not American, but I think my geography says that it's not quite. <laughs> you're, you're totally, you would be totally right there, so. there. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. So that is the live shot of the exterior. And we have our CNET crew inside the Brooklyn Academy of Music. The event is kicking off, as I said, 30 minutes from now, or just under 26 minutes to be exact. And we will be talking all throughout the live stream. Just a little bit of housekeeping, though. We are not allowed to restream the live stream from Apple. So no one is actually allowed to. So anyone saying they can is uh, not doing the right thing. So we're going to be talking all the way through it. We are going to have the live blog, which is traditionally a, a couple minutes faster, if not, you know, at least a minute or so faster than the actual live stream itself. Don't send them away. No, no, no. Home. But we, we're we going to be talking oh. through it. And I want to suggest <laughs> that if you're watching it alongside with us, keep us open in one window, open the official Apple stream in the other, and, uh, and we'll keep you company because I'm sure there's going to be bits of it that it's just going to be like, uh, I'm going to swap back and see what we're talking about because we're going to be so much more fun. Lexi, we, that happening. sounds like a great pro tip. Pro <laughs> tip. <laughs> Hashtag pro, pro tip. tip. I love also, it. also, you can, we can even narrate as they go along in the Australian accent. Can you like pretend to be Johnny Ive for us and just give us that gist? Well, Johnny Ive is is English, so well, I mean, I can try. <laughs> I can impersonate his accent. Yes, please. The aluminium frame. There yeah. you go. No, Why like, do you even need like, to log into the Apple Store? Like, there we go. Like this. He's more like aluminium frame. <laughs> <laughs> He's got those eyes. That's true. That's that, true. I, I can't that quite do. From, I don't like, have the, the I don't have like, eyes. Gestures like nice. aluminium frame. Aluminium we spent seven thousand billets of aluminium. <laughs> 
to make this. Okay, this this whole show should be just Patrick. I think Patrick should, should just narrate the whole that. show as Johnny. Wow, well, I'll get up the spike of traffic watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, like the iPhone event earlier this year, I, I think it was only a month ago. It, I guess it was September, wasn't it? I don't know where this year is going. It's going pretty fast. So anyway, like that event... Earlier this year, we know a lot about what to expect today. There are a lot of rumors flying around. We know iPads, MacBooks, but there might be some other surprises in store. So I had a little bit of a game that I wanted to play, and you can definitely play along with us. So uh, if you go to the URL, that is, I don't know if we can pull it up on screen, Beecham, but it's uh, tiny.cc forward slash CNET scorecard. So that is where you can download this very uh, sophisticated image that I made. Uh, very sophisticated indeed. Uh, I think I should have been a graphic designer in another life, don't you think? Uh, yes, no. So you can download this image from, uh, from tiny.cc forward slash CNET scorecard. And then we are going to go through, well, Vanessa is actually going to go through, seeing as she is our Apple expert from the Apple course. She's going to run through some of the top rumors and we're all going to fill in the scorecard before the event starts, and then we're not allowed to touch it, and then when the keynote ends, we're going to come back, and we're going to see how many we actually got right and how many we, we didn't get so right. So if you want to fill it in with us, please, head along to that URL, print it off, or you can be old school and, well, not really old school, new school, actually, and write it in a Word document or whatever you want to do. <laughs> I was... Anyway, sorry. I have, a, I have a question. Could I just yes. use a piece of paper that is not downloaded from no, this website? No, Patrick. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I was no, like, Patrick. old school, new school. Hmm, yes, I think that's a good call. Or early morning. It. I don't want to download I, and hook up my printer. It's not enough coffee. Miss Lexi, I don't yes. have a pen. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I just have a... <laughs> thank you. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Anyway, so this is the scorecard. Anyway, so we're going to all fill it out, uh, and we're all going to get Vanessa to run through the top rumors. Ashley. In LA, have you got a scorecard? Are you ready to play along? Because I want to, I want to see your predictions here too. Uh, so I have a few predictions. Obviously, um, I did not print out a scorecard because what are printers? Um, but, <laughs> touche, uh, but touche. Le Lexi is it. crying right now. Actually, you <laughs> made Lexi oh, cry. I don't understand. Um, but we do have. Uh, but I like we. I actually feel the same way as one of our first tweets, if we want to pull that up, because I'm like, pretty excited about it. It's from Sahil, and he says, when's the event, and are we finally talking bezel-less iPads? And for me, that's, that's the name of the game, right? Like, well, I want my I want my edge-to-edge -edge iPhone uh, XS-esque iPad. So that's, that's what I want. Is it going to be the iPad 10? Are they just going to go with the X? I don't know. But I, I really want that nice OLED uh, iPad. That's that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, I love it. Okay, well, let's uh, let's keep tabs on that. So Ashley is thinking the iPad X or variant because she wants the bezel-less screen. It's coming in on the tweets too. But Vanessa, let's go through some of the top rumors, and um, we're gonna write down exactly what we want. I mean, I know exactly what I want. Number one on my list because I say it every single year. <laughs> it is a MacBook Air with Retina. But I'm going to have to decide what size screen it's going to be. Anyway, run through the rumors. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your options. Number one, I'm actually going to go through the rumors from probably most likely to least likely. So I'm kind of giving you a hint over here. Not that I know what's going to be announced today. But the number one rumor, and Ashley already mentioned this, is the iPad. There have been multiple leaks, including... Um, a couple in the actual code of iOS 12.1 that show that little icon with no bezels, that bezel-less iPad, as Ashley mentioned, no home button. The downside of this is that it could potentially be a liquid LCD retina like what we saw on the iPhone XR. So Arr. that's kind of TBD. I'm hoping it's an OLED like Ashley said. Could could there be like a deal with the iPhone where there's like the OLED one? Expensive. And, and then, then an, the um, uh, may LCD one? Maybe. One? I mean, maybe they'll save the, the OLED for the 12.9 inch because mm. there's two versions coming up according to the rumors. A 12.9 and an 11 inch. Now, these will probably have similar footprints to the existing ones. Except for the 12.9 will actually be smaller than the existing 12.9 because of that bezel-less screen, obviously. So the other rumor about this, which could uh, anger a lot of fans, <laughs> no headphone jack, guys. What? So, oh, I mean, well, I, I don't know. 
I don't know. Don't don't kill the messenger. Jeez. You know everything. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't know everything. Well, I, I do. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I actually, I but wow. I went there. I went there. I, do. I, do. I mean, she, she put it right there. I had to go. <laughs> so those are those are the rumors for the iPad. Um, I'm so thinking that's going to happen. Happen. So OLED screens are expensive. Yep, Imagine doing yep. that in a in a yeah. ten inch or a twelve inch like that. I think that on its own is going to kill that. Uh, I think it, it can't be. Yeah, it, unless they've I magically made OLED production like go down in terms of cost significantly. <laughs> unless we're talking about a two thousand dollar iPad. Well, I mean, in that case, it would be iPad Pro brought to you by Samsung OLED <laughs> screen. You know, because you know Apple doesn't make. <laughs> the OLED screen yeah. so that's that's TBD but the other thing that might be a redeeming quality I don't know it depends on how you look at this no not no not but that is always redeeming feel, quality okay, this how, do interesting. Interesting. No, how there, do we feel about this if there is no notch then how is the face ID and uh, module going to work in the true depth camera? Because I'm assuming magic. magic. No, I'm kidding. No, um, <laughs> it would actually it would cut, <laughs> it would cut before. Uh, it would probably cut, you know, at the notch. So it it would have a slightly thicker bezel and just wouldn't cut around the notch. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. So, so like yeah. thicker than like an iPhone. I can draw it to you now that I have a pen and pa- paper. I mean, don't, I'm don't kidding, iPads no, I have, they have like a little more real estate inside yeah. for more equipment yeah, though. So that, that's, that's probably true. why they could ditch the notch. That's true. I mean, I'm thinking it'll still have a little bit of a thicker bezel to make room for that camera and they just avoided the notch because if, I mean, if you're looking at media, which you probably are on an iPad, it, it's probably a little bit more intrusive on an iPad than on an, on an iPhone. Well, and I would think too, like the bezels, even if you're going for bezel-less, want to have a little something because otherwise you're going to be like just touching the screen all the time. And, That's exactly mm, what unless you're thinking. Yeah. I know they have like crazy yeah. iOS stuff yeah. where they kind of deaden or uh, desensitize but some of the edges like that. Tablets but... are a totally different form factor <laughs> and, and a totally different use case to how we use our phones. So if there isn't a bezel, I mean, there's going to be so much. Uh, how do we involved, grab it? <laughs> voluntary yeah. grabbing is going to yeah. be like, you know, apps launching when you don't want them. Too. I mean, I don't know what's. I have a case on my dogs iPad. Living together, mass hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> I have like this monster case on my iPad. That's so I never, you have kids. I never, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I never actually touch the screen, you know. And it's like yeah. these big rounded edges. So maybe, well, you know, maybe they're gonna, gonna do something that. like that. Two is like, is there gonna be another case or another keyboard? Because it seemed like they've always reiterate another version of the keyboard. And that's another rumor. The the keyboard connector might be in a different spot this time. Oh, the keyboard connector right. might be so, like what vertically be right above the lightning uh lightning connector which could also be a USB C wait wait so There's hang another on. One. Oh, so, okay oh, so the keyboard boom, boom, thing boom. that'd be like a like an old school like callback because the original iPad had that crazy <laughs> keyboard stand and it would dock vertically. Yeah. Oh. oh I didn't so know that. I wasn't alive back then, Patrick. I'm wow. kidding. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> two or are you five years old? Thank you, five year old or six year old Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll get to kindergarten. Okay. So so far we have we have the iPad. Well, so what do you think about out. lightning cable versus USB C though? Just before we oh, move on, I really think, quickly, oh. like. Well, this is a tough one. I think if, Patrick, if <laughs> well, I know Patrick is bursting. <laughs> One second. If they go US, if Apple goes USB C, then that's kind of a sign that the lightning is dead Ooh. going forward, right? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no? Okay, tell me why. Tell oh. me why. Okay, there's a whole thing called an iPhone that's really popular, <laughs> what? right? No, I think what it means is maybe for an iPad to have USB C is now just pushing it more towards it being considered like on the level of a laptop, you know, and have that connectivity. Mm. So yes. I think that's it. I think it's less what? about killing the lightning permanently and more just about it on the iPad allowing more functionality like you would a computer like you would a Microsoft service but oh. I, do, oh. he brought, is, I don't think they he even said have the, the he said the word that nobody's supposed to say he said the, the M word <laughs> but here's the thing though and like so many times that people have been going oh maybe maybe uh, iOS and Mac OS are going to come mm-hmm. closer together that's not going to happen I think pretty yet. much we've seen yet, yet. Well, yet, yet. They, they have so, hinted at it. It's just hints. not like I don't think in this the is going to be the year. Though. No, this definitely, definitely not. not oh be no, the no. Year. But I mean, you'd be laying the foundation right. for that, and having you know, you started on the iPad, and think about how technology that comes from the iPad works to the iPhone, and the iPhone works to the iPad. So I think that's there. It's not to say lightning will always be on the phone, but I think right now you're not going to see that lightning going anywhere on the phone. But on the iPad, it seems like it could there be a we possibility. go. All right. Well, and then, and every year we we get into, into this discussion. Um, does the iP- can the iPad replace a, a laptop computer? And the answer so far has been no. And maybe as you mentioned, the the USB C plus 
dongle, 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 dongle <laughs> might <laughs> might Pricing actually points. make this this laptop. Sorry, this tablet an actual laptop I, I, replacer. I will, I will disclose publicly, and I'm not embarrassed, but I've been living off an iPad for about three and a half years as my main driver. What? I know. I know. I know, it, I know it can't study. be done. You need to go in the done. keynote and just be like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yes. my name's Patrick Holland. I live with an iPad and nothing else. I mean, Hi, seriously. Hi, Patrick Holland. Yeah. Uh, with, some, with some really like sentimental music. No, but I think, yeah, but what's neat is like there are, there, for a lot of people, there it is, there is still that gap between it being something that can be your main computer, your main uh your main use, whether it's for consuming things, for typing, for all that. And I think having that connectivity is great. Mm. And who is one of the companies behind the USB-C standard? Apple. I don't know. Tell us. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Tell us, Patrick, please. <laughs> all right. Well, a lot to explore here on the iPad. Um, let's move on to the next yeah. product. Which... Next product. Let's go through quickly because I also want to jump fine. back to the CNET Live hashtag uh, <laughs> for the questions. So Ashley's going to fill us in on that in a minute. So let's I'll just give the, the, the brief rundown. Yeah. But the, the next, as you mentioned, Lexi, this is going to be hopefully the year where you finally get your MacBook Air and whether or not it's called a MacBook Air sequel we're not sure about that it is going to be it is rumored to be a cheaper MacBook with a 13 inch or 12 inch display mm -hmm. we're, we're not sure about that um, and pretty much going to look like the new form factor of all the different Mac, uh, all the new MacBooks so just slimmer bezels potentially that uh, touch ID support and Retina screen, which we've been Woo! wanting on a, on a MacBook Air for a really long time. The downside is it may cost not $999, but $1,200. So well, quite, quite, quite a range there. But also yeah. that might be like maybe 900 is the base level and then 1200 is the higher level which you, in case you jump up to that macbook i don't I, know i have the feeling j just because it's been a, so many years since the original ipad i uh, sorry ah macbook air launch that i have the feeling that it's going to be very hard for them to put the price point at the same level as four years ago so or however many years ago i mean i'm too, uh, too i'm too young to remember yeah. obviously <laughs> yeah. no but, but like the original it, macbook yeah. air when it launched was like 19 1800 or something like that it was very, it was very pricey. expensive right it was, oh, yeah. and then it, it came down significantly but also the design never really changed exactly. at all substantially so the cost of production came down too and the other thing is okay if there is this macbook air which i am so hopeful for because that is the you know the unicorn right the Number macbook one. air with a ret retina on screen do you think it's just one USB C on it, or do you think they'll put two or three? Two. <laughs> do they leave generous. the headphones jack? It's funny how generous. you guys are you're like begging for. I know. It's like, can we have two? Yeah. Two. Give, give me two. Two. Give me two. Three. I would take three. Three. Be, three. Yeah. three. And then three is think, a charm. Do you think I'll... they play with like the iPhone Ten R color stuff too? Right? Do you think we do something no. like that? No. 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 I think space oh, gray. Space but that gray would be like be. that would be a, a kickback to the old mm -hmm. iMac. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making things up here, guys. I like it. I like it, but also I don't. Like yeah. it because it's gonna look ugly in those if I'm not, really uh, no. space gray, and the just it's gonna be look, look good in space gray. Oh, so you, you want boring? Okay, I see in I color, want, Lexi. I want exciting, I want exciting and predictable Wait, and gold. Boring. Gold, no, because did you see the gold, the original gold MacBook, yeah. the, the thinner form factor one that came out a couple years ago? Didn't really do it for me. It was that like was, straw color. Lexi, was Lexi's holding out for the coral MacBook. Oh, <laughs> oh, that would be it. That would be nice. I hear she's a real fan of the coral. I love that. Color. Anyway, so I okay. have started my list right. <laughs> of uh, two. Two, two items right. so far. Let's two keep going. So, so uh, Mac Mini is also oh, rumored yeah. to make to show up at this event. Uh, uh, upgraded storage, upgraded processor, more expensive. Also, the rumors. So that's another bummer. So that those three are the ones that are most heavily rumored at this point. Now I'm gonna keep going. But as I go down the list, just know that these are less and less likely. So the next one. Yes. Yes. So yeah. the Mac yes. Mini, I just think that's really cool because it's been so long. And <laughs> yeah. it's the original. It like, has. Oh, you have a yeah. monitor. You have a keyboard. Plug it in. So even if it is slightly more expensive but had, like, say, like the 15-inch MacBook Pro internals, uh, the MacBook Pro internals, I think that would be so sweet, even if it was, like, $1,200, $1,300. Whoa. Whoa, Patrick. Hey, I'm just saying because I'm Whoa. still getting in, and I can plug it into my monitor. I can plug it into my keyboard or use Bluetooth. And I'm off, and I would have the that would be sweet. I mean, maybe, maybe awesome. like eight ninety nine. Oh, of course. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go so, cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean the cheap. I mean, so the current Mac Mini is what four ninety nine, I think, which is, yeah. has go not been up, upgraded in, in a a many, many, many years. Like in, in a many, 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 many years. Okay, so that, right. those are that. I want to cross quickly to Ashley in LA because she's gone the on the CNET Live on the Twitters. 
And there are a couple questions I'm sure that have come through. Ashley, what what is el what else is happening on CNET Live? Where's her audio? Okay, uh, Dami, there it is. Dami from uh, from Twitter says, "Sweet, an Apple event today plus CNET Live show. What's even more awesome is the amazing Vane Hand, absolutely fantastic Lexi and great Trick Holland are hosting today. What a beautiful team." You're beautiful. I can't wait to check out the show later today. Really excited. So thanks. That was just really nice. Uh, and I felt like we needed it to, you know, really just like. Oh, I love it. Need a nice compliment to start kick off the day. And then uh, as you guys were talking about iPads, we had a tweet from Hamza. Um, and Hamza says, I have an iPad third gen, so I might upgrade if the new iPads are good. <laughs> and um, I think a lot of people are in that position, right? Like. There are a lot of folks out there with kind of older iPads or, you know, because you don't upgrade your iPad uh, the way you would an iPhone. So I think a lot of people are really kind of eyeballing those new iPads and hoping that they are good. That's a great point because I think a lot of people with iPads, it's like a device that you don't necessarily need to upgrade const upgrade constantly. Like you have enough mm -hmm. iOS 12 updates coming through to keep it fresh or at least the interface and some of the functionality. But when it comes to the actual hardware, it's like unless you are Mr. Patrick Holland who's using it as your main grunt machine, you don't need that much uh, extra, I guess, hardware capacity <laughs> in terms of like the processor. At least that's what I'm thinking because for t most people, tablets are a lean back experience and something that they can use to complement, you know, their main daily driver, which is the phone or even the laptop. It's not the primary machine. So the incentive to upgrade is a lot lower. So I think a lot of people are coming from like those third generations, even the first generation iPad. I'm pretty first sure. Gen. Yeah, first gen. I mean, I I'm still rocking have one of gen the, two. I still wow. have one of those. 2012. I mean, and they're, yeah. they're, they're reliable as hell. Like the one I totally. have. Is, uh, yeah. I have like a mine's four years old. It's like the first Air, I think, the iPad Air. I don't even know. I think I have this the maybe the first or second gen though, but it stopped upgrading. That's the only problem. Oh, well, so, that's well, of course, yeah. After yeah. a while, iOS I know. Well, iOS is not going to hit, yeah. you know, get the upgrades. But but I mean, definitely, definitely a good year to upgrade. This would, uh, this would be the year. We think. We think. Oh, we sure. We don't know sure. yet. <laughs> we <laughs> think we know, but we think we know. Should we keep going down the, the rumor list, list just so we can finish our yep. little list? But so we mentioned uh, Mac Mini, and then there's another potential for it. new iMacs as well. Um, this is a, <clears throat> this is. Jim, we got Scott Stein on the phone. I'm sorry. Scott Stein on the phone. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh, oh, go, ahead. go ahead, Vanessa. Finish, Finish what you're saying. Your so uh, potential IMAX, the other product that we're maybe going to see this event, but I don't think it's gonna, that likely, is a cheaper HomePod. That's been rumored as well to nah. compete with the uh, nah. with the Google Home Mini and the Amazon Echo Dot. Well, what would it be called? Nah. Like the HomePod Mini Lite or HomePod, HomePod Mini? I mean, or? quite a 10S. Uh, the instead of minus, the, uh, sorry, instead of max, it could be the HomePod Minus. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. so now you should go work for Apple. I should. Because um, <laughs> you already, yeah. I know you already do, but no. I definitely, yeah, we all do. Let's be honest. Uh, anyway, right. let's let's cross live. We have Scott Stein live on the phone. He is in the Brooklyn Music Center. I forgot the official name of it. I'm Bam. sorry. It's Bam. called Bam, the right, Brooklyn Scott? Academy of right Music. Here. That's Bam. the one. Brooklyn Academy of Music. Oh, it's dark and moody. What's what's going on in the dark and moody? Bam. I can see that. Well, we're about to begin, so I'm going to be getting off in oh. a moment, and <gasps> Char is next to me, and we're sitting down, and... Nice. Ooh, very nice. And the the so, venue looks very, uh, very formal. It is like a concert hall inside. Well, it's a theater space and a, and a music venue, and it has a big history, so, yep, anyone who's lived here knows about this place, but if you haven't been living around here, maybe you didn't. But um, they have really cool indie theater and all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm, I hope they just like show a Robert Wilson cramped, play as opposed to an Apple event. <laughs> um, so, it's so be a Scott. Wilson play today, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Scott, just quickly, yeah, we've been running down a lot for. of the we've been running down a lot of the rumors. But on your wish list, what's the top what's the top thing that you're looking for today? Uh, for the iPad to figure out what it's going to be. And uh, maybe that's something that I don't want it to be, but maybe it's something other people do. Uh, the, the iPad Pro debuting alongside new Macs. Is it something that's going to feel a little more Surface-like, a little more Chromebook-like, or are they going to keep leaning towards it as a super art tool and, uh, and all that stuff? Um, are they going to have a new type of keyboard? Um, is it going to run software that dovetails more? Is it going to feel more like an accessory or an additional option to the Mac? I mean, also, sure, Retina MacBook Air, I would argue that maybe that already exists, but 
but maybe we're going to see it in a different variation, different price. Um, you know, I, I think I think to me, sure, there are a lot of Macs. I'm speaking on the iPad side. I'm also using the Mac side. It stands right here. But I would say that the, the, it's the difference between the Mac and the iPad. That's the part that I want to see resolved or discussed. Sounds good. And just quickly, what are the what is the over under on the AirPods too? Because I want to see that photo of you uh, done with the second version of the AirPods. I want to see that photo again. <laughs> I mean, new AirPods at this event would seem pretty random to me, um, just because you know, it, it, there's a story between Macs and iPads and creation and stuff, and AirPods seem more of a mobile story. But you never know. Um, I, I would. Say Still feel like that would come out or maybe alongside a phone or a watch um but you, again yeah you just never know um i would put it as a wild card at this event Ooh, but i would much rather wild see wild card. interesting I, but i'll tell you I'd rather see uh, a bunch of interesting and useful ipad accessories than uh airpods 2. All right, sounds good. I think there's about four minutes to go before the event starts in there, so I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much for calling in, Scott. I uh, hope you enjoy the event and you get that wild card that you're hoping for. I'm crossing my fingers for you. Well, we'll see. It'll be what it'll be. All right, that is Scott Stein joining us live from the Brooklyn Academy of Music, signing off. Thanks, now, Lexi, Scott. last Apple event around this time, a tweet went out by a certain CEO. Do you think we're seeing any shenanigans? About oh, that's right. Like that? I remember that we were all scrambling because Tim Cook, uh, I guess, pulled the wool over our eyes and tweeted, what well, was something like, no, I don't have it or something. Yeah. Get here as soon, Get as, here possible as, soon as possible. Get here as soon as possible. And it turned out that it was a, all an elaborate prank to do with the opening keynote. I don't think something like that's going to happen again, is it? Uh, probably I mean, not. I don't think they can do the same thing within the space yeah. of a month and a half. Anyway, so be, let's, let's keep running through. So Scott mentioned a couple of the, of the other rumors, which was, the, the, were, and you mentioned, Lexi, the AirPods. A sequel. So I don't think we're getting a sequel, but there could be that AirPod wireless charging case that we were teased oh. about a year and a half ago so i'm i'm personally hoping for that airpod wireless charging case uh but of course alongside that would only make sense if they launch that mysterious air power mat that mm. has since disappeared i and i left it at the very end because again i'm Aww. i'm not very hopeful it's so sad because i think a lot of people were hoping to get rid of so many cables and be able to charge three devices at the same time uh, so the AirPod charging case and that power mat, I think, are the last two to and and sorry, and I forgot the Apple Pencil. That's probably like he said, like Scott said, it's very likely that they launch uh, a new Apple Pencil alongside the new iPads. So that's your rumor. What if they OK, so if they had these iPads, you're going to want to have a smart case. And what if they just built the wireless charging pad? Into the smart case. Whoa. It's not going to happen, but that'd it's be amazing. Happen. That'd I be... love this optimism from you, so Patrick, yeah. this morning. It's well, so early. <laughs> I have this two more minutes of optimism <laughs> before it gets I destroyed. Know. So. Well, okay. <laughs> it, goes, it turns really dark for Patrick. So I think the, the Apple Pencil thing is also really interesting to me that if they do an update to that, what that would be like, or if there would be a different model. Well, or... the Apple Pencil, we have a lot to talk about. I think we do want to talk about it in a second, but this is my scorecard so far, and you can see that AirPods 2 is there. It's not going to happen. Really? I know. I know it's really? not going to happen. So I'm talking about hopeful, Lexi. I know. I'm going super specific i'm going macbook air retina 12 Ooh. inch i'm not saying 13 inch i'm saying 12 inch you should add in the price right there just uh, well, because you're feeling lucky all right, today uh, I got the all price right and all i'm right. really gonna lose this one all right 12.99 oh starting from 12.99 so the reason okay, why okay. the reason why i say 12 inch is because of the existing macbook form factor with the slimmer macbook is already the 12 inch mm. i believe so i think that having a 13 inch is probably something they're going to keep for the macbook pro range because that's kind of like a form factor that's been used there so i'm going 12 inch i don't no, I think I'm going to be totally wrong, but this is half the fun. Uh, iPad with an I, the iPhone SE design, because that was one of the rumors as well, that it was going to have those uh, bezels and like a, a little bit more of a, uh, rather than that, that smooth, sleek look, it's going to go back to the iPhone SE and the iPhone 5 kind of or look. Or the original iPad. Or the yeah. original iPad. Well, the original iPad wasn't quite it like that. It had a little bit it of It had a bit of a bezel, yeah. but it wasn't the same kind of like flat edge. Mm. So I, I like that. I think that would be good. The Mac Mini and the AirPods too. What about nice. you guys? What's on your list? You have to write. I yeah, I, to here's write. what I got. <laughs> Here we go. So Patrick, I, Patrick's got I have the MacBook Air Redi. I don't know like what it'll be, but I hopefully it will be a new screen or something like that. Okay. Um, Mac Mini. I'm just hopeful because like that's a great computer. and It's been so long. 
um, an iPad slim, like whatever that means, like slim iPad bezels. Slim. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> I love this. It's just um, a Patrick's marketing now. And then for this Apple. is. <laughs> they're not going to announce this, but if they mention it, I will be happy. This is the mention of where that Mac Pro is at yes. because. I think, again, we're at an event um, that we're talking about lots of creativity is going on there with the music and mm-hmm. theater and film and stuff like that. So it's, it seems natural that a uh, product geared toward creative, something like a Mac Pro, might, might get a mention, especially if they're going to do the Mac Mini. Well, that's the thing. And because the Mac Pro, I mean, we, we know from Apple that it's something is coming in 2019. And it would, so. lovely, it would be lovely to see, I guess, because Apple has been criticized for a long time for not catering to uh, its kind of core market of like creatives. And people that empower users. And so it said like time and time again, yes, the Mac Pro, it's coming in evolution. So maybe I think you're right, a sneak peek of what's to come. However, that being said, it is 7 a.m. Pacific, which is 10 a.m. Eastern. And the event is starting now. The Apple live stream is commenced. We are going to be talking throughout the live stream. Uh, We are not allowed to rebroadcast the stream as it's happening. No one is. So I suggest you keep us open in one tab, open up the Apple live stream in another and we'll be talking all the way through it we'll be going off our live blog which is being filled in on the ground by shara scott and dan ackerman they are all there at the brooklyn academy of music and pretty much the live blog is generally like maybe 30 seconds to a minute faster than the actual live stream so i I highly recommend you follow along with us there and keep the Apple official stream open in another window. And you can swap back and forth as things get, you know, something that maybe that you're not super interested in. You come back to us and, you know, turn up the volume and listen to us. And then you can dive back in as you need. But we'll keep you updated as it happens. So there's a lot of cheering now on the stage as Tim Cook is taken to the stage. They've had a little bit of, I guess, a, a tribute to New York in the opening keynote video. And... But the cheering is still going on. That's a lot of cheer. What is what has been happening over the past, uh, I guess, couple of couple of months apart from iPhone? That uh, Tim Cook's actually come out and been quite vocal in a lot of the issues. At least on Twitter, he's come out and been very vocal about many of the world events and and things like that. So I guess there's a lot of cheering there in the crowd for that. Uh, also, also uh, just through. there there are just worth noting a lot of Apple employees at these events. So. <laughs> Just worth noting. Paid yeah, to clap. Yeah, paid to clap. Yeah, that's, paid that's protesters. Paid to clap. That's well, they're their boss up there. Yeah. They're, yeah. Like, they're expected to clap. And that's there we go. Thing, well, so. te- technically, they are being paid their clapper. salary depends yeah. on it. So, it, I mean, as someone who used to work for that company, yes, Ooh. it is like your hands hurt by the end of like your <laughs> orientation week. Like, I, I used to be in theater. We didn't clap that much. You know? um, I also think like recently had those comments about uh, again. Um, as Apple always leads on privacy and that, and that's always seemed, uh, for some of us, it seems like, of course we want that, but if that's going to hold innovation like Siri and other things um, back, then is there a a middle road that Apple takes? But it's neat to see Tim Cook especially speaking out uh, on privacy and maybe in Mm -hmm. lieu, um, in light of Facebook. (laughs) That is not so good with privacy. Yes. Yes, and, and Google and all of the other companies that have had privacy snafus this year. Uh, so he's starting off by the Mac. The Mac is the first uh, first Ooh. cab off the rank, as they say. The Mac was the first computer designed for creativity, and it's become one of the world's most essential tools. So that has been happening right now on the stage. And we're going to see new Macs, obviously. But is it going to be is it going to be, be the Air? Is it going to be... Or an iMac. Or a an Mini iMac. Air. Or, what a, the, or what? a Mac, or a Mac mini. mini. All right, all right. So Guys, choices. Lexi, what are we going to see right now? Uh, we're going to see a MacBook Air. Mac, now. MacBook Air. Yeah, okay, it's going to have to be. I don't think it's going to be called a MacBook Air. I think no, it's, it's going to be called the MacBook Slim. I, like, well, like a, <laughs> I just no, that's the, the new iPad. The new MacBook. The Air, though, is such that's the, that name itself means so much. So I don't know if they would just throw that, that name no, away. No, they can't. No. Uh, yeah. MacBook no, is synonymous no, no. with. No, no, but no. on the flip side, I also think um, I mean, we're hopeful that there's some Mac Mini news. So maybe. I don't know. Do you lead off with a thing people want, or do you kind of tease them with something like, "Do I really need that?" <laughs> oh, buddy, you got the slim coming. <laughs> the slim. I, li- I like Patrick's uh, little impersonations here. I'm not sure who you're trying to impersonate. That's just me it's... tired. I grew up in the South. They, they beat up my Southern <laughs> accent, but it comes back when I'm tired or oh, inebriated. I love it. I love it. So there's a there's a video playing about all of the people using Macs. Um, so you know, here's the thing about the Macs that I hope that they address is that the keyboard. Because obviously there's been a lot of issues with the butterfly keyboard. Yes. And the MacBook Air doesn't have the butterfly keyboard. It has that classic uh, traditional keyboard design. 
and keyboard mechanisms. So I, I'm interested to see if, if Apple is going to address this in any way. They've Perfect. obviously done a couple of replacements for um, faulty butterfly keyboards. That was a couple of months ago that was announced. So are they going to stick with the traditional design? Or are they going to mention that it's a new and improved butterfly keyboard <laughs> maybe it's design? Called, maybe it's called a moth keyboard. Yeah. Like, a moth. Ooh, like, I yeah, like it. What about know. the peacock keyboard? Let's gonna, go all out. We're going to ride the wave of the moth meme happening now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, the, the, um, the new MacBooks that were announced, the MacBook Pros that were announced this year, address the problem without actually addressing the problem because it's very rare that Apple actually comes out and says that they... That they made a mistake, and so the new Mac, they never addressed the the faulty butterfly keyboards uh, per se, but they did come out with the new MacBook Pros, which had kind of like a thin lining below the keyboard. I, I fix it, kind of did the tear down, and they discovered this little silicon lining that would actually prevent the prob one of the biggest problems, which was that that uh, debris was falling between the keys and uh, making them stick. So have you, have I have, you, I, so you have either of you experienced anything like that with a mm. newer Mac keyboard? No, I, so I've been using the MacBook Pro uh, with the touch bar, uh, which the touch bar is You're one thing. Let's, let's get into that later. I have a lot of <laughs> thoughts about the touch bar. Uh, Not all of them good. In fact, pretty much. We're going to do a whole other live show a just whole on other that. Live show just me talking about the, uh, the that, issues. Yeah, that touch bar. But I haven't experienced any issues yet with the butterfly keyboard. That being said, it is incredibly loud. And last Apple event, when I was in Chicago, I was sitting next to Shara and she was telling me, your keyboard is so loud. Can oh. you stop typing oh so loud? Gosh. But you could have been the only one you were, at an you Apple were shamed. event. You were shamed. I know, I, seriously. Well, of all it, the events to be shamed. Well, no, it was, uh, that's the thing. It was a very valid point because, I mean, I'm a loud typer, but the butterfly keyboard just exacerbated that so much. It was so incredibly loud. And I was like, I'm sorry. But she was very, very nice about it because she was using an air. And I was like, oh, I remember that keyboard. It's not as loud. It's, it's not as loud. Fond memories. Oh, wait, we're seeing something. Yes. So there's a, a lot of stuff happening now. Mac OS is the soul of the Mac with its beautiful so. and easy to use interface. There are 100 million active installed base. I believe that must be of Mac OS. And over half of Mac buyers worldwide are new to Mac. So that's 51% globally and 76% in China. And China, we know, is a huge market for Apple making big pushes and trying to make big inroads there. Mac OS Mojave is obviously the latest edition of Mac OS, uh, which was released, uh, or at least the, the beta was at WWDC, and it's now in full the full version. We have dark mode. I think that's kind of like the highlight of Mojave yeah. to me. It's like dark, dark mode. Dark mode it's is like, the highlight. That's really it. You I, know? I, I, I mean, literally everything dark, dark I literally have dark mode on my computer. Wow, wow. Patrick, you're not, so cool. Uh, you're one of the cool ones. <laughs> Look at the no, I'm, I'm so dark, don't you you're mean? You're so dark. Yeah. I'm so dark and mysterious. <laughs> right. We, I mean, we knew it was a matter of time before Patrick went dark, and now yeah. it's happened. <gasps> Guys, it's <gasps> the MacBook Air! It's the what? MacBook Air! Yay! When Steve pulled that MacBook Air out of the envelope, it was clear things would never be the same Yay. and they haven't and there it is well i mean this is the previous oh. i mean i got too excited because i thought it was the actual new but it, MacBook i think air, it is then. because you don't see the little apple light up and i have a macbook air I'm, I'm i'm rocking the old school macbook air right now and it has a light up um it has a light up apple so i think he's still doing or that, that I, I remember like timbuktu made uh cases that would be manila envelope cases to for mac the first macbook air no yeah, yeah this... we are seeing that on the screen well i think that is a that that's is actually a, a manila from envelope, earlier yeah. though there is a manila folder though that was the the iconic the moment steve when jobs, steve jobs yeah. pulled it out i remember that that was that was pretty classic yeah that's like the big deal when that happened. so that was you know 10 years you ago you remember that like steve i'm kidding i wasn't born yet but <laughs> i remember it yeah it was before you guys were born probably <laughs> Uh, okay, so the current version is different, but not that different. This is from Dan in the live blog. Uh, the basic concept remains the same. So I guess the slim form factor. Come on, show us the picture. Show it. Show it. Show yeah, we we still we're still looking at those large bezels on the screen. Well, from that's the, the older version, right? Exactly. So it looks so just like your computer. Yeah. Right it looks now, so. exactly yeah. like my computer. And we have the new MacBook Air. Oh, here it is. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> what if they did leave the bezels and put a retina in there? I think there still would be people like. I'll buy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll buy it. I think so. <laughs> I mean, people still buy the the four five year old MacBook Air that I'm rocking. So. I mean, there's part there's something like there's a you know for that refurbish, change it yeah. if it's working for you. Sounds guys, like the air might stay, says Dan Ackerman. So, ooh, I was wrong. And there's a I huge cheer from the crowd for the uh, it's a time for a new MacBook Air announcement. Mm. This the is MacBook exciting. The MacBook Air XR. I'm trying to think. I know. What ridiculous I know. Ten thing. R. Yeah. Um, the MacBook Air Max. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I'm still cringing no. over that name. No, 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 no. Maybe time. that's the iPad Max. You know, yeah, no. Oh, no, Sound, please, mm, please, no more. No, facts. no, no. Uh, there's a video being played now, so I guess we. Oh, yes, yes! I'm incredibly excited oh. to announce Retina, 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 Retina display. Retina display. 
Hi. We have a retina display. Hi. That's Thank all you. we know right Thank now. Thank you so much. That's the only I've been asking for it for the and past Lexi, five and years. And sold to Lexi. And also it's been, uh, Where's the, is the Apple store down? Somebody Can somebody check and tell people, me on scene at Live, please? Because I'm going to go buy it. I think. all the time. Retina. <laughs> Retina? <laughs> Retina. Retina. Oh, colors. 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 Well, how, cue, the cue the video. Cue the video. I don't know. Oh. Uh, Dan Ackerman saying colors, but. Uh, oh, gonna... yes. There's colors on the screen. <gasps> it's kind of. Wait, I'm I'm looking at the video right now and, and there's like a silk fabric over the iPad or MacBook Air that looks blue. So I'm wondering if it's going to be blue, but it, it looks silver. OK. All right. So the Shara is saying it looks like there are two USB-C ports on mm. one there you side. Go. Patrick, you got two. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle and Tim. And you get two and you get two and you get and two. And it has a gold option for Lexi, because I know that's your favorite. I love the gold. <laughs> gold. <laughs> well, this is all very oh, interesting. Look at I'm, that. I'm, so glad, I'm glad they're Headphone leading jack? This. Is there a headphone jack on it still? Mm. Mm, courage. Mm, courage. <laughs> Put a headphone jack on there. Here Please. we go. Two USB. So we can, see, we can see mm. one of the first official shots now. There are two USB-C slots on the side. And we'll see. We'll have to see if there's going to be anything else on the other it side. It looks though. very familiar. I, I will put it that way because there's nothing. I mean, it's kind of what we expected from the redesigned MacBooks. This is a try. This is a tried and tested design. Yeah. Obviously, it's it's been you know widely, uh, wi very widely received with critical acclaim for ten years. Um, it definitely needs an update and a refresh. It doesn't look as huge of a refresh as no. I was expecting. But that being said. You know, didn't people love it. the form factor. But it didn't, it will didn't that hit need a, that. Will they hit that price point that we are talking about earlier? Will we yeah. get will that $900 that? Dollar I doubt it. Oh, it price looks, point? Look, look, there is, a, there inch. is a, there's a gold. It looks like a rose gold, actually. It looks, it like, does that, look like, it a... looks like that coral gold. <laughs> that Lexi the, uh, loves. The, no, well, it looks, you know Rose. what? It looks like it's, it's... actually going to match the Apple Watch. I think At so. At least from that render, it looks very similar. So same 13.13 inch screen size, which I'm happy about. And the resolution is... The Wait, sharper and more detail. Sharper. Four over four million pixels. Yes, yes. But where yes, is? Yes. The, I want the PPI, please. Anyway, well, it's retina, so, so it means that your eyes cannot see. I was so I was so close because I was going to go the twelve. I went the twelve inch, guys. I, I went thirteen inch. I, I went for redo, so I really redo, got it. My, my butt covered <laughs> up. So <laughs> Patrick loses. Oh, very. No, but, I believe I win because I said they were going to redo that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. But the the, uh, the now the price point. I put twelve ninety nine like you, Lexi. So we're we'll see we'll see. Oh, uh, it's going to be more. You yeah. It's going to be 15, yeah. I bet. St Steven be. says more. I say more. Everybody says more. I'm going for less. I think it's going to be like 10.99. You think? No. I think it's 10.99. 10.99. Are you out of your mind? Come on. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, I want to get your point here. What What do you think the price point is? We're going to play a guessing game of MacBook Air Retina. 13.3 inch price point. Oh, oh. Ashley disappeared. She's we turned lost into Ashley. colors. Call oh back, gosh. Ashley. It's Hang okay. We'll second. get her back on the line. We're still we're still do, still doing our uh, our betting game. If you want to jump on the CNET Live hashtag, let us know what you think the price point is going to be. Ooh, touch ID without a touch bar. So uh, right the, I mean, Ooh. I don't want to bash uh, the computer Lexi's rocking right now, but I think that's kind of a good move. You can bash it. It's my work computer. It's I didn't, my work I didn't computer. I mean, <laughs> let's let's be honest. I I the only reason why I liked the touch bar is the touch ID. So the only yes, but that's the only advantage of it. And that being said, so even the, <laughs> the touch ID doesn't work, I'd say forty percent of the time it doesn't work. Really? So I you're saying the why. glass is sixty percent full. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm always seeing the upside. Oh, but that being wow. said though, we do have a work system, an authentication system, um, that might take a little while to boot up. I don't know if it has anything to do with it because I've only ever used it with my work computer. So maybe in isolation, if you just have, you know, none of that extra corporate stuff on it, maybe it's totally fine. So we, we are we're actually looking at the security of this MacBook right now, and they're talking about the T2 chip, which uh, store has the... Secure Enclave. Secure Enclave. Patrick's favorite, Patrick. Secure Enclave. My, my we should have played a drinking game. I know. Secure Enclave will be in Milwaukee. Um, so they are... Band, right? yeah. Yeah. Hey. That's what you said. The Secure Enclave. <laughs> Lewis, no, no, no. Enclave. Patrick Holland's Secure Enclave. That's, That's right. the name of the band. Patrick name. Holland and when the I... Secure Enclave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's... Okay. They're, so... they're definitely spending a lot of time explaining the security... Uh, for this MacBook, so I think it, they're definitely playing on the their edge 
with the security features. Um, and going to uh, Lexi's favorite point, it looks like it's still butterfly keyboard there. Yeah. Yes. Well, look, and there's always there's an always on processor that enables Hey Siri. No, because I'm telling you, the Siri button on the touch bar is the stupidest position, and it's yeah, the that's silliest the thing. thing. I don't it doesn't like, on the like it. Bar. I always press it, and I don't want my MacBook listening for Hey Siri because all of the other devices <laughs> that I have that are Apple related. I say, hey, Siri, and they all respond, or one responds, or the wrong one responds, or none of them respond. I don't want that on the MacBook. Take that away. That's, <laughs> I mean, hopefully away. I can I can disable that. Or so they we, just moved it like a different key, like just move it one end. We yeah. have, um, they're not talking about the trackpad, which is larger, kind of like the the new MacBook's um, design. Yeah. So we already kind of knew that. Next. Touch touch ID, or Wait. sorry, force touch trackpad. That's 20% larger than the existing one. So actually, well, this is kind of nice, Lexi. We have the my MacBook Air and your MacBook Pro to compare. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Before and after. Exactly. Uh, so the big trackpad, uh, for the 20% larger area, as you said. Butterfly mechanism still four times more stable. So there is a reference point there. Yeah. Stable, stable is a nice way of saying it won't break. Well, is but it not as much? It would. Is it still less. loud for Lexi though? It we were still loud because I'm a loud typer, ladies and gentlemen. New speakers, twenty five percent louder. The old air was notorious for not <gasps> being loud enough. That is true. That, yeah. So I'm Thunderbolt interested. three too. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt three. three. That's good. That's, That's good. very good. That is very good. And there are wait, how many? How have they mentioned how many USB C ports? I think there's two. Definitely there were two. two. We saw oh, in that. Oh, it says that uh, three. Uh, so three. Excuse no. me. There's two Thunderbolt three ports. That are in a USB C shaped. Nice. Two thunder. Okay, so yes. what about the other side? Don't know yet. No, we have to wait and see. I'm, the big I'm reveal. Hoping, I'm hoping headphone jack hoping and headphone another jack. USB C. I well, we'll see. I mean, I, if there is no headphone jack, it would be very disappointing for creators and people that obviously mm -hmm. like video editing, anything like yeah. that. That's just it. That would be a big loss. Or just people then, who like to listen to music on headphones. Well, I know, but then that would shuffle a lot of people to the MacBook Pro range, which I would not be surprised if that was. What if what, they put they lightning on there? I know they didn't, but what if no. they did? No. Oh, okay. So oh, here we go. We have the power. We have USB, like, no. Thunderbolt, <laughs> no. HDMI, no. VGA, and display <laughs> All through that, those Thunderbolt ports and in the USB C shape, and is using eighth generation Intel processors, which was not a surprise. It uh, would be, uh, I mean, I don't Ooh. know. That's that's just to be expected at this stage. Uh, up to 1.5 terabyte yeah. SSD. Yeah, yes. that's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but imagine the price here. on that one. It would be three thousand dollars for the top, the top of the line, the top of the line MacBook Air Retina, which will be fifteen ninety nine. And they're showing amazing, it plugged right? into yeah. the Black Magic EPU, which got launched uh, earlier this year. That's I'll amazing that this little MacBook Air can use that to its advantage. So if I am a graphics person or a video person, yeah. I could plug it in at home, get that done, and then take it on the road and be able to type, which is the dream. That is the dream of so many <laughs> creators. Dream. That is the dream. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing they're mentioning is the battery life. It still has an all-day battery life, but it doesn't seem like it, it's gotten that much better than the existing iPad. Which is I mean, MacBook. Fine, right? It. Because the MacBook Air is still like kind of like the gold standard for battery life. Yeah, computer, yeah. So. I did. I did want to see a little bit of a, more more of an improvement on in this regard, just just because. But we always want we to eke out a little bit yeah. more battery life. Yeah. I, I think that realistically, uh, that is it, it's a high priority for consumers. It's a lower priority for the manufacturers, just because they want to try and cram in as many features, and of course. That's going to negate the battery line. And if you yeah. have that retina screen right there, you're right. eating it. So wait, the fact look, wait. It hold on a minute. I'm going to interrupt you guys because we're seeing the other side. And mm. we do have a headphone jack. Yay. Nice. Yay. People like headphones. Wow, that's that's Be good. Nice. I am very glad to hear that. Wow, also, 2.75 pounds, 17% less volume than the existing Air. So that's, I mean, my Air already feels really light, which Does I like. It though? I does it? It after, does. It does. It does. I mean, after, compared to other, like, to, to other yeah. MacBooks, Windows, um, Sorry, Windows laptops. It it actually isn't, but to the fact that it is seventeen percent smaller or less volume, as less Apple vol says. Isn't that such marketing speak? Seventeen percent less volume. What does this it mean? Is, <laughs> I mean, like seriously. Total volume. Volume. I mean, let's measure the cubic talk about milliliters. And I don't know. And <laughs> yes. But I think it's interesting because we're now we're getting closer to that way to that MacBook, the, which makes it curious to see. What if anything? What's going to happen to that? Does this replace that, or what's going on? I would there? hope so. The, the you know yeah. the, that the the MacBook that was supposed to be that kind of interim between the Air and the MacBook Pro and that. Or weird does that kind drop in price? Does take that? Well, price I mean, or? yeah. Let's let's see. We don't know what else is going to come up next. But and well, the the and then Dan Ackerman is mentioning the same thing with uh, the fact that the Windows laptops like the Acer Swift 
are already in that range. So they're not definitely not first to get in there um, with the smaller uh, footprint. But if you are upgrading from an existing MacBook Air, it will see like a huge difference. Now, they're showing pouring glass right now. Pouring the glass. It sounds very nice. I mean, glass blowing. I glass want to know blowing. how fragile this is, too. I feel like this is a. Well, I think that's what, yeah, and drop I think test. that's what they're about to. Uh, <laughs> I, this will be a very expensive drop. Very test. Although, I guess, drop I guess test. the we iPhone. Did a, we did it in the past, and it's one of our more popular videos. Really? Actually. <laughs> oh. You know what's interesting yeah. is I bet the guy pouring the glass is Johnny Ives. Like, I don't get to do this a lot. But, so, <laughs> pouring glass. He's wearing that mask. Glass pouring is glass. being poured from the glass factories of Murano in Venice. <laughs> Murano and Bar you know the classic. I, I do. Yeah. I'm just letting you go. I'm just supporting you. <laughs> just, just keep going, Lexi. We like that accent. Okay, this no. this heat suit was custom made mm. by an Italian tailor, <laughs> Unifer Giancarlo. <laughs> now we have a uh, about the aluminum process. Inspired by the Wizard of Oz. Inspired by the Wizard yeah. of Oz. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Costume. It's like that's and a Daft bad, Punk. That's it's a Wizard of Oz, Daft <laughs> Punk. <laughs> the uh, Venetian Daft Punk called? from the it's Glass yeah, collaboration. Johnny Ive has like a cover band for Daft Punk <laughs> <laughs> called <Yeah>. Raft Punk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Have we got Ashley back on the line? Did she you know, join, uh, did she join entertainment us Entertainment Tonight had to shoot something in our studio, so they kicked them out oh, temporarily, really? and she'll be back. Okay, Can you believe well, that? That's, that's dun, not dun, 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 entertainment, entertainment tonight, tonight. Apple event takes priority to whatever the Kardashians are doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 but that the theme music's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the uh, <laughs> journalism school where Lisa Gibbons is from, which I'm so proud of. <laughs> uh, um, well done. Do you, to, do you want a round of applause for that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, every, yeah, it's like the most random fact, and now that I work for a company. It's very name dropping. Yeah, it is. Name name dropping. Dropping. Oh, you mean the Lisa Gibbons School of Journalism? That's not just <laughs> name dropping. Apple Pay on Mac and also sorry guys uh, the mag the, as um, Dan Ackerman um, pointed out the mag safe um, is no more um, officially no way no oh. more <laughs> no way yeah, yeah. Well, I mean because there there ain't that port nope there ain't that port Lexi ain't that port ain't yeah that this this is this is a kind of a sad moment because that what would MagSafe? you rather uh, mag safe stay I've and never get used rid of, and get rid of really. uh, headphone jack I mean, yes, or I'll headphone jack stays oh no headphone jack yeah I mean like mag safe yes but it's great but uh, Clearly, you've never had it. anyone. I don't think about it that. Your cord. That's the thing. I don't think about it that often, right? Steven? I, mean, I have tripped over my cord many times. What's, what was the question again? MagSafe, MagSafe, MagSafe or, headphone or headphone jack? Headphone jack. Yeah. yeah. Big See? time. All right. All right. So I, uh -huh, I, my uh -huh. PC doesn't have a MagSafe, and everything's fine. I don't Connects, I survive. <laughs> no, knock on wood, because <laughs> <laughs> you set yourself up for it to uh, get knocked over by a child. trip over it. Yeah. I mean, I am very glad that they did keep the Air name. The legacy of that and the goodwill, I think, associated with Air is huge. And I think if they just got rid of that by saying the new MacBook, uh, I don't think people would be as excited right, right. because the legacy is that people go, oh, I know the MacBook Air. I had one of those or I still have. I still, my MacBook Air is 11 years old. Whoa. It's kind of, I think, no, no, 10 oh. years. No, it's 10 years old. I'm oh, sorry. Price. It's okay. Uh, price, 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 price. I thought you were six years old. 11 dollars <laughs> 11 dollars so 1200 bucks. All right. All right. I, Whoa. Well, I want to say I called it, but. Okay, eleven ninety nine. Oh, look, I had twelve ninety nine. Oh wait, these are all okay. So, oh my goodness, there's like thirteen numbers. Dan Ackerman. The crowd. Right. He the says crowd that the crowd went silent. silent when when they announced the price. Yeah, that's because we've because come to know that eleven ninety nine. Jeez. God, yeah, that's the starting. And that's the eight gigabyte memory and the at one point six gigabyte. And you're probably gonna want to upgrade that. Yeah, I mean that. And that's not even gonna be with that one point five terabyte drive yeah. SSD anyway. And the other thing is like, so, so then we have okay, so then is that's the price of the MacBook right now? It's the same price, right? It's eleven. Eleven. Nine, yeah. Right. Uh, let's take a look. Let me fact good, check. Good but I guess the point I'm trying to get to is close to enough that yeah. are they gonna drop that yeah. down in price for it to be? Because you st we still don't have that. Uh, they're they're actually below. gonna raise that in price. So yeah. <laughs> well, you never know. But you don't. We, right now, we don't have that uh, option that's under a thousand dollars. We haven't true. had that option for a couple. That's years. That's the Mac Mini, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, because that's technically portable. Uh, yeah, right, it's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. light like the MacBook Air, right? Because you can. Mac Mini was what like five hundred bucks. Five hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 At one point, the old MacBook Air, the eleven inch one, was seven fifty. That's right. right. That was a tiny, tiny yeah. MacBook. Air. I always saw people using that, and I was like, "Oh, this is so Grant, cute." that was on its way out, but it was like yeah. you had two options that were under a yeah. thousand. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, th th this is a big selling point for me. Is it's one hundred percent recycled aluminum. 
I mean, that, that's a pretty you're big in, deal. You're Mr. Environmental. Well, I'm, I'm Mr. Environmental. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. rid you're of all it. plastic. You good don't like you. it. Though. I know you don't like that new aluminum, so it's good to see you're getting your recycled. <laughs> it's a glass blur. Yeah, aluminum. who wants new aluminum? I want old aluminum. Come see my Daft Punk band. It is in gold, this weekend space gray, <laughs> and the silver. Spinning quarters, as I... But that is pretty cool. I mean, they're making yeah, that their is... computers out of 100% recycled aluminum. That's that's a big one. So they've really been pushing the. Are you getting this? Are you getting this for 11.99? It's too much I mean, if CNET wants to get it yeah <laughs> that's, that's I mean, if they want to upgrade my work computer but the thing is then i've already got the pro so yeah i mean uh, I, i'll be honest i have an option for pro and i keep coming back to the air because of the, so, it is the for, form factor yes. so i would probably be uh upgrading if if i could do the one terabyte how I about think, you i think yes. if i could i would do the air but i'd get that uh black magic epu so that mm. way I could still video edit and do that stuff yes. at work, but then have that to go. That's but, then, cool. but then what am I going to use my iPad for? That's, That's what am I going to use? Watching TV. Wait Saw what see. I did there? Saw what I did there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. New Mac Mini. It's happening. It's happening. <gasps> space gray. Looks which space gray. Great. There we go. Uh, and it looks the same. <laughs> really? It does. Well, I mean. It's a box. <laughs> it is a, I know it's a box. There's not much you can do with the There's box. There's not much you can do. But given, look, I know people, I know edges, people love to hate corners. on it, but at least the Mac Wait Pro Wait a second. I'm seeing a circular design, thing landing. You know? What is going no, on? That, that yeah, is it going to be joke. round? I know. The Mac well, Mini? I would no, like no, it's it's round. Round. It was a joke, I, I think. No, I know. I know. But I mean, like, people hate the Mac Pro design. I don't like it either, but at least it's different. And at least it looks like a trash can, which is kind of funny. It would be nice if this was a little out of the box, but it's not. It's it's a box. Same. It's, it's same. literally yeah. a box. It is. The, the um and I'm the one thing I am a little bit disappointed in is that we're not seeing that light up Apple anymore. Whether it's on the MacBook Pro, uh, sorry MacBook Air, or any of the app, uh, other Apple devices, I I kind of like the light up Apple, and now we're not seeing it anymore. I'm not These too. All I'm not too cut metallic. about it. To cut, be honest, I'm cut. not too cut about I it. I liked it. I it was like except if you're in a dark back. room and if it you're was trying to eat and I don't know. We just did a how to how to get rid of all those blinking LED lights so you could sleep. Yeah. So that's probably what the same thing they're thinking. Probably. You know what I mean? Probably. Because look, all these images too. Everything's in the dark. There's one light on this desk. Everything's dark. Well, and the yeah. Even yeah. the Mojave Desert thing's dark. A lot of that's that true. doesn't come from the, the the original one. It was the actually glow of the L, the the screen would yeah. make yeah. the Apple light up, and now it's just they have lights behind it, so mm. I don't know. It seemed like a. It's in. It was nice while it lasted. Uh, I think. Yeah. That so four core processor. Or sorry, four core, six core, and four core, quad core. Sorry, I said six, six core. And six four. core and quad core six processor. Core. Eighth generation. Um, sixty percent faster graphics. So this is. Well, I mean, I should hope it's sixty percent faster than the last generation, which was what, five years ago, twenty fourteen. Yeah. I mean, let's hope so. Uh, <laughs> more mem- so everything that we kind of have predicted which were was better processor and more memory exactly um this one goes up to 64 gigabytes um of of memory which is pretty nice That's upgrade pretty good, yeah. 32 to 63 gigabytes of ram um good for video and audio production patrick which has mm-hmm. uh yes my friends you would use it for pro tools oh, really Yep. So you all could, the upgrades. And you could stack them. The old the, ones you could stack. And I think the, this is a product that definitely needed the refresh, and we're getting all the upgrades that people wanted. Now, same can be said from the app, uh, from the MacBook Air. They're not necessarily super innovative. Well, I think this is the you know the Apple, I guess, motor operandi. It sounds really crazy that I would say motor operandi. <laughs> Good movie. Uh, Good yeah. Movie. So yeah, I don't know. It's look, you know, it's early in the morning. It is uh, still before seven thirty a.m. Pacific time. So I'm allowed to Thanks say whatever I want. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so I'm allowed to say uh, whatever I want in whatever language I want. But I think this is Apple's like, I, I guess that their way of going. You know, we have we have the products, we have the legacy, and we don't necessarily need to go crazy with these things because you know maybe this is not quite what consumers are wanting yet. I would beg to differ. So as you were talking, they, uh, all all storage is flash on this. So two terabytes oh. of flash storage up to wow. two mm-hmm. terabytes mm-hmm. is pretty amazing. I love wow. I love what a- HDMI and USB A <gasps> survive. Sorry guys, we went quiet because we're now taking a look at the back of this device to see what kind of ports it's it's rocking, and it's still rocking a decent amount of ports, Ethernet uh, ports. Um, let's see. 
We should yeah. compare it. We should compare it. I, I want to see yeah, this. Yeah, it looks like there's USB A, U four <laughs> USB C. What if they'd gotten rid of all the ports HDMI. on the Mac Mini? That would have been HDMI. That's <laughs> yeah, huge. Right? All, yeah, every, yeah, all yeah, the all dongle, dongle yeah. all the time. All dongle. One yeah, one Thunderbolt yeah. USB C and two with, with a USB massive wow. dongle. Yeah. Well, this so is... uh, they took the ports away from all the other computers and just put them in. This yeah, one. exactly. That's true. So this saying. is the one that everybody's going to get in turn because <laughs> nobody wanted to get rid of all the ports and use dongles Now they're teasing. Everything. Do you think we can get the Space Gray keyboard and mouse with this? Because that would be pretty Ooh. sweet. Uh, yes. I doubt. I don't think so, Patrick. But that's nice. Of your, well, I like your optimism. Going back to Beecham's whole like uh, dark mode, I think that would be, you'd have to have that. They're going to have to. I mean, even look at their servers. Their servers are even dark. Same color. Oh yeah, what's is out? Is that a server? I think those are just <laughs> Mac. Those are Mac. That's like a Mac Mini. Oh, server, no, no, right? that that is the eight thousand <laughs> Mac Minis. Uh, that was the company has has eight thousand of them to make apps like Candy Crush. Wow, I think there was a more cost efficient way to do that much <laughs> computational crazy. power, guys. That I don't sounds think about right, though. Eight thousand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, so, what is our, our <laughs> guesses on the price here? Ooh, I'm thinking eight ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, I would no, say like if they can I, I, if they can make like an eight ninety nine, and then you're gonna jump up yes, to like maybe six, maybe even up to sixteen hundred or yeah. something for that two terabyte. Seven ninety nine. I was right. <gasps> yeah. Seven ninety nine. Nice. Da -da -da -da. All right. I got one so, thing right today, everybody. Da -da -da -da. So we're we're seeing a two hundred dollar price increase for both the MacBook Pro Air That's, and the yeah. Mac Mini. So I guess. With inflation and things considered, it's not. But we're getting a much, at least for the MacBook Mini. Mini, or MacBook yes. Mini, Mac Mini. Mac we are Mini. getting a huge upgrade. I mean, this is um, definitely closer to, like, higher-end iMac range, which yeah. is amazing for the price. Uh, and, and obviously that uh, 799 is going for the Core i3. It's not the 6-core one and, and it's not the, the 2 I5. terabytes yeah, of thing. memory and all yeah. that. So that's going to be a lot more. Well, Beecham, you'll be pleased to know that 60% post-consumer recycled plastic and 100% recycled aluminum nice. enclosure <laughs> reduces your carbon footprint by nearly 50%. Fantastic. Hey. There we go. It, November 7, you can order it today. There we go. You can order it today? Order today. So pre-order today, so arriving November 7th then. Let's see. Is the Apple Store down? Mm -hmm. or it is, is down. It, it has yes. been down for a while. There we go. Let's, I check, thought let's maybe check the Microsoft excited. Store. <laughs> just to see. Oh, still, still there. It's still going. Uh, I, I, love, I love it. I love so it. So what's next, guys? Are we thinking oh, iPads? Man. I think you got to go iPad. Oh, uh, um, Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, if they don't, what if they don't do an iPad? They're well, just I like, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you got what you wanted now. They were like, oh, Lexi got her well, iPad. Let's talk right about now, the so. Apple Pencil for the rest of the show. Yes. <laughs> well, with, there, there can't be an Apple Pencil with no new iPad. That would just make no sense. Well, and it's interesting, too, because we, uh, we don't see these crossover events where it's usually either Mac or it's usually iOS stuff. So it's kind of, you know, we're going to jump back to the iPad after going. About the Mac Mini, when's the last time that happened? At least not four years, five right. years ago, maybe. Yeah, I four. I think twenty fourteen. I don't even know if that was in the keynote. Though. Yeah, I don't like, even know. I, I don't... think that was like one of those updates that just happened. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I was probably asleep when that keynote. You weren't was born yet. So. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> you were sleeping in your mommy's sleep. tummy. Yeah, yeah. There we, there we go. There we go. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, updates today at Apple is coming up next with Angela Rents who is uh the head of all the Apple stores and uh design what else is she So we can pretty much mute it for the next 5 minutes well, I'm kidding Yeah well if you, if you want to but I mean I guess now maybe this is a good time to kind of dive back into Take a pee break guys this is the time yeah. this is the time <laughs> I mean those Apple stores are like are still as by foot are like the most successful stores retail stores out there right now which is amazing Especially, yeah. well, I mean, it's not like an uh, Amazon but, Go store, obviously, which you've been to, but. I mean, I felt like I was shoplifting uh, from Amazon Go. What, what if you could just, well, people are already doing that at the Apple store. It's that's just, true. That's not, true. Oh, yeah. It's just it illegal. Yes. Not, <laughs> it's, it's not, not legal. <laughs> no, there's been a, uh, just a massive amount of Apple store thefts in the last in the last couple, it's not yeah. funny. It's, it's really serious, but but it is. It, 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 they just serious. have so many products on display, and it's really uh, tempting for for thieves to just go in there and swipe up a, a bunch of products. What's interesting is they're all like tracked products and stuff. They're all like uh, um, 
formatted for like in store stuff. So it's not like you're gonna be able to do anything with those iPhones you steal or those. They things. sell them for parts though. They so. ship them to China and but they sell them for yeah. parts. And it's, it's, not, like used it's cars. not just stuff that's on the floor either. There have been a couple of heists of actual devices that have been delivered to the store overnight and people have kind of oh, that's right. got to know where the trucks are being delivering goods to one. and then just taken like a whole payload, like six thousand devices at one time. So actual Hashtag pro tip. I'm <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Not pro tip. We do not Illegal condone. No. <laughs> yes, not. Uh, it's not condone breaking. Into <laughs> stealing it, so. Uh, so there's like there are a couple of new Apple stores actually. I think there was one in Milan. I think Tim Cook was there last either last week or earlier oh, this week. Yeah, you and I were going to go, but we had something. <laughs> Milan, Milan. No, I mean I was too I was too busy checking out the glass mills uh, in Venice actually as a with your with Johnny your tailored, your tailored yeah. glass suit. Yeah, with my glass suit glass, <laughs> as uh, the Daft Punk third member. Um, today at Apple, yes, that's Angela still on stage talking about pretty much all of the classes that are at the Apple stores. Lexi and I took one the other day. It was kind of fun. We took a photography one. Yeah. Yeah. The the Chase Jarvis one. Yeah. That was pretty, pretty cool. And and we, it was really cute. I, I met this lady, this older lady who goes to the classes every day and takes a new Apple class. And it was really sweet to see. I mean, Talk, maybe she was paid by Apple, uh, honestly, and she knew I, I was working for CNET at the time. But it was just sh- because they're free and she would just show up and hear somebody a little bit older who is interested in learning about the new technology for Apple. And so I think it's a really cool thing that they do at these stores, opportunity for people to just come learn, watch for free. Um, yeah, I would say like that was one of my – I guys, I was like a workshop person, so I'd do like these things like how to use your iPhone. So you'd have give, everyone give from – Give us your best uh, – From newbies to like people who are <laughs> can you, – Can you give me your best like Patrick – at Apple uh, impersonation. Well, not impersonation. You actually did it. So I want to actually get like, just pretend you're taking, you know, you, you're helping out the Genius Bar or you're taking, you know, an introduction to a class. Give me your best kind of I'm Patrick moment. I'm, so I'm, like, I'm wow. Patrick. Well, just wow. like, you know, just, just give me the, the dulcet tones of Mr. Patrick Holland introducing the latest product or way to do something or how to fix ios i don't know give me something okay here's the here's the fix to all the problems if you ever have a broken apple device the fix is i want you to find your device and find the power on and off button and we're going to turn it off <laughs> and wait for the apple logo to turn off and then you're going to turn it back on i love that right. yeah. okay was that the number have, one problem and then the follow-up would be like how many people can't do that okay half the table great let me <laughs> Go help you guys turn on and off your phone. <laughs> um, no, well, that's that's now a legit joking. concern with the new I, with the new <laughs> iPhones without actually. the like you yeah. know. How do I turn it off? Yeah, because you, you have to hold down the one. Well, I think what see is like uh, as a lot of these classes too. Besides the basic stuff, are also more geared toward <laughs> like creative stuff like photography, music. Um, one of my favorite things I can do is like video editing. You know, and that, I yeah. have to say that's where I learned a lot of it was through Apple and. Um, and really. The, in yeah. the store? In the store wow. because you get trained up and learn like Final Cut and all that stuff. I was I was like an iMovie baby who, who iMovie baby? Yeah, <laughs> who, who graduated. Um but yeah, I think all that's neat and I, I love that aspect of Apple and um I hope they still do it because I think that's a, a big differentiator for a lot of companies. You can't go to like the Samsung store and take Samsung workshops, you know. Yeah. I'd like to take a garage band class. If they have it, you know, they have garage band's cool. they, they, sh- yeah. they have to. Yeah, you just, be able to find I mean, it. I think you just need you just check out the lineup on the store closest to you and give it a go, give it a go. <laughs> You're just like, make sure to check out the I'll local say, yeah, Apple Apple dot com right. slash classes. I think there's been a lot of time spent on this now. Yeah, on now Apple, that we can like wrap today this up. At Apple, I think, Still talking about know. the store. I know. I mean, maybe does this maybe there's no iPad. Are they are they lowering our expectations <laughs> or yeah. actually just making us more and more interested in making like come on what the Well, people are gonna drop off this live show if they don't get to the iPad. So I'm thinking that maybe it's not what we're, as good as what we're expecting. So that people just kind of drop <laughs> off. Like, as, yeah. uh, as far as like Angela Arnold comes up like she not only her role at apple but her f- former being like the ceo of burberry it's like you have someone who she's not the ceo of apple but she in all rights probably could be one day you know so i think it's nice that that'd be that's actually that, an that, interesting that point here, though so. this is kind of just like introducing you to and to uh, i guess a number of the high profile apple execs and be like you know tim cook isn't going to be the ceo forever so they've got to lay the groundwork for someone and yes, it would be lovely if it was a woman. And like she's, she has and the she's so nice. Yeah. She seems so nice and intelligent. Have you, and have you met her, Patrick? I did. I got I got <gasps> hugged by her once. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so this is, nice. It was just Patrick's way of name dropping over here. I know. No, it was How not. How many name oh drops have we had so far? Patrick, who used to work at Apple, <laughs> Apple Store. There we go.
A lot of name drop. I love it though. Back away from the mic. <laughs> uh, are you blushing? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bit. I'm blushing. I need, I'm going to have some more coffee. I think that might help everything. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I've, so we have. Um, how are you? Scorecard. How's your scorecard doing? Mine I have... uh, is good, except I was too specific and I failed. So uh, number one, uh, I kind of got, but kind of didn't get. Um, CNET Live is the hashtag on Twitter. So please join us. Uh, tweet along with things that you're expecting, how your scorecard's going, and Patrick. What have you got on your score? Well, I'm doing t- first two. I did pretty good on the third one. We're gonna find out. And the fourth one, they did not mention. I don't think they mentioned the Mac Pro, in, like no. even inside no. talk. Yet. And we know it's not gonna be a product. I knew that. Just that. Hey, this is still coming in 2019. Is when I wanted to hear. But I don't think that's gonna happen. But maybe the iPad Slim, whatever that is. I've had ha- some. You know what's great about your list is that you actually got the order right. So far. Well, <laughs> are you, right. did you know I used to work at Apple? I want to see your check. <laughs> hey, Stephen, here's one for you. Music Lab called Advanced Beat Making with Logic Pro. Ooh, oh, Logic, oh, Pro Logic, yeah. Logic Pro not, is the bomb. Yeah. Logic Pro is the bomb. Not quite, not like, gar- gar- not yeah. quite Garage Band, but yes. Well, they have Logic Pro steroids. 10, I think, at my studio. Mm-hmm. Logic Pro 10 is, yeah. and 8, I think. We I love two. how Americans say garage, because I just say garage band. Garage. Garage, garage. garage band. <laughs> I like the, um, garage band. No, I, I can talk about my recent Apple Store uh, situation. I had to go situation. get my situation. battery. Ooh. No, it was actually a good, a good oh. one. I have an iPhone 6S, and as you know, the battery's for having an issue. And oh, I just, don't drop and now, it. Now you're going to get it replaced. Screen has, the screen now replaced. the cracked screen has it. Yeah, yeah. Now it's a cracked screen. No, but um, they were offering the battery replacement for $29, and I did it. I went online. I made my appointment. I went down there. had to wait for maybe like two or three minutes. Took me aside. Asked me what was wrong. Took my phone. Said, come back in an hour. I left. Came back in an hour. Had my phone. Wow. Was that fast? Twenty nine yeah. bucks. Boom. New battery. You go, did you go get a Cinnabon while you were waiting? <laughs> yeah. No, I, I actually I came back to the office and worked. And then uh. I <laughs> so nice. That's but fun. yeah, I mean, it's you know, working. the Apple they have it. They have it worked out. The only thing that was except weird, they were actually slowing down your battery, like l- slowing down yeah, your phone. Except on I purpose. had to go and do <laughs> yeah, this because exactly. my phone was screwed up. <laughs> Wait, let, let's let's put in perspective why you were there in the That's first place, true. Steven. <laughs> Good point, Vanessa. But it well, was kind of weird because yeah. the line was queuing down the stairs, so we're all standing on the oh. stairs that was kind of weird Whoa. I was like this feels so odd they might be able to fix that we're, we're gonna yeah. make your fo- we're gonna slow down your phones but we are gonna fix it and be really nice about it when you show up it's time for the ipad 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 there we go new jingle brought to you by patrick and lexi me pad we all pad ipad remember remember the first year when the ipad launched and everybody fa- made it the name oh yeah i think so a lot of people hate the jokes. names yeah well, i remember it, i think no, that was, was in texas they launched in uh, south by southwest or something maybe i'm wrong I no but that uh, i don't know i wasn't uh, born they, it was right <laughs> after well they launched and then they had the big south by southwest it's like the following week or yeah after, yeah yeah and that's um, when they went on sale that's what it was yeah. i remember mollywood buying one but i think also torture. like the, there was that mad tv sketch where they had a different name and it was referring to a, maybe a feminine sanitary product. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> feminine <laughs> sanitary product. I thought that was the appropriate terminology. Ooh, maybe it'll be the maxi pad this year because oh, of the... Here we go. <laughs> I think that actually might have been it. Well, be, yeah. because th- yeah. they, they are rocking the max name for the, for the iPhone. I would this love year. it if it was just the iPad Max. It's just, just the... Just Ooh, the this not is... the max iPhone. Yeah. So iPad Char's... Max. You know, you iPad just... Max so that you can rearrange it to be maxi pad. Yes. <laughs> so Char's yeah. saying that they, uh, they sold more iPads in the last year than the Amazing. entire notebook lineup from the biggest notebook manufacturers. I don't know what that what? means, really. <laughs> Think what? about it. Notebooks? Like, notebooks? Uh, what so, all, so, hang on. Yeah. So, all, They're speaking so, so vague. What is, um, are we talking vague. Windows, la- Windows laptops? More iPads were sold than Windows laptops? Where is they that? I don't know. I don't know. I, I see more though. Chromebooks in schools, like elementary schools, yeah. and yeah. I see iPads. Right. So, I don't know. Well, but I mean, that because, could just be. because of the beginning. That's because you haven't gone to Marin. <laughs> True. Or Cupertino. <laughs> or Chicago, elementary. Where Cupertino. they have the event. and They're it was like the, iPads you know, at the yin yang in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> iPads for education. That's what they were pushing. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know how many schools have iPads, but anecdotally, not, not enough. As, I think it would be. I haven't been to any schools lately. It's been, I mean, I did just. Graduate, well, but it, they, they well, are showing you're a such chart. A youthful, you were just born recently. So. They are showing a chart that has 44.2 million iPad sales 
HB. Oh well, okay. So here's the thing. So yes, <laughs> wow. it, they sold more than, but not they sold more than HP, which is uh, according to this chart the, the biggest. But it's not more than all of them combined no. because HP, Lenovo, ASUS, Acer, Samsung, etc. Bundle them all in. That's in like probably close to like the hundred. 150 million whereas ipad was like 44.2 million my my mathematics is not great at this time of the morning but i that's not all Better than M- and i, I was then. just reading what shara wrote so no 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 i, I don't, that's, don't kill that's the message reader here no 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 so. i was just trying to trying to verify this statistic here yeah let's let's add all these up real quick let's do math that will keep people really <laughs> yes. Yes. oh riveting riveting content everybody oh, no. let's Goodbye, go. Goodbye, here it is. guys here it is it's the new mm, no. oh you were right about the about the the about the design with the that. se design yes, yes. the se design yes. for the mac yes. no and no home button guys no home button That's se fine. design for oh. the for the sides and uh yeah and, the, and no them? no notch no notch so face id support no notch and in space gray alum- and silver, space only gray space and gray and silver. and silver. That makes sense. And the new Apple Pencil, or actually they're showing yeah. a MacBook Pencil. We're not, we're, sorry, new Apple Pencil, but we're not sure if it's actually new. That's so um, cool. That's a, of the iPad, original it iPad. Is. But look, 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 look. look. <gasps> this is kind of a, a knock off the surface. The, the Apple oh, Pencil kind so of goes pencils. on to the side the of the, clip. Yes, yeah, magnetic does it charge? Because before, Probably not. Because, well, hang on. Let's let's wait a second. Because before the old Apple Pencil, you would plug into the lightning port and it would stick oh out. Oh, my God. Like, it's the most ridiculous weapon. You yes. Could still, like, it, you, it was stick a out, pretty snap it bad design. It's a very bad way of charging. So now we're going to see uh, if it actually does have a battery in it, like the Surface Pencil, or if it charges. Imagine if you really spun your iPad as many know. times as that video did. Like, you would just like, <laughs> yeah. just like, I need to break it. I was doing the video. Okay. It's I mean, the not video covered told me by got... Apple Care. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so the, I, yeah, you, you were right about the, about the Yay. design. I mean, I it's like so that pretty. design. It's it really is, look, that is a throwback to, I think, I think the best design in terms of the, at least the iPhone. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people agree with me from the four to the five to the SE, that, that edge <gasps> display and that edge, um, that edge. nice, I'm gonna, edge. Is, yes, exactly. That sort of that flat it edge. It was flat, but then it had the chamfered yeah. around it. I, I, it's I like an iPhone 4 kind of. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want to disagree. I'm going to be the devil's advocate here, and I kind of don't like it, the, the fact that they're reverting back to older designs. And I know that you're you're a fan, Lexi, but... I'm nostalgic. That's it's what just, I am. <laughs> it just se- makes it seem old to me. Is Am I the only one? I, I don't know. Like, I think mm. if it was the bigger bezels What's with that design, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I think having the having more to grab on with less screen space to grab onto makes Maybe. it a little more sense. Yeah. And also, if you think obviously about until the, we try it, exactly we have no idea. the feel in the hand of those older phones, it is less likely to slip out of your hand than sure. the new design. Liquid so, retina. because I'm clumsy, I know that a heavy tablet is going to be the first thing that I'm going to drop. Drop test. I'm 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 thinking two drop tests right here. <laughs> Apple. Sorry, MacBook Air and iPad. What do you think, guys? So we're seeing, we're seeing, seeing that yeah. it's, an LCD, for that. it's an LCD screen. It's a liquid retina. Liquid retina. I called it. So. I called it. You even though I didn't write it. You got to do the spin test too, like the commercial. Oh, oh wait, yeah. ten point five. Maybe you could spin oh. it and drop it like a like the commercial. So we we um <laughs> <laughs> we have an eleven inch iPad with the same footprint as the previous ten point wow. five inch iPad. So it's going to it's not going to feel a lot bigger. Nice. But the screen, since obviously it goes edge to edge, no notch, no notch, guys. Mm-hmm. Yay. No, no notch, notch, but um, so that's that's pretty nice. I so pretty. we use it for for sheet music, which uh, I'll, that's kind of nerdy. But no, people but, use it all the time. Right? It's not nerdy. <laughs> but but it's uh, but that's fantastic for sheet music because yeah. then you can have a it's, huge it's all a screen very display. expensive. Screen yes, for sheet music. music. <laughs> well, I mean, but but at the same time, like you spend so much money on books and books of sheet music and you can't yeah, flip, flip yeah. it if you're a keyboard player in 2018 you have an ipad mounted next to your yep. keyboard now that's how Fair it, enough. everyone does it now that's so you you've got a 12.9 inch and an 11 inch display uh for the ipad pro so um and it's actually thinner even though the the like we were mentioning the edge is now not rounded but they i Flat, it's I guess. Flat. flat. It's that. Twenty five percent less of paper. volume. Wow, look at that. And twenty five percent less volume. Face ID. There we go. So these are these are similar in size but smaller footprint. Now I didn't see the side. Did anybody catch the side by side of the twelve point nine? Oh, here it is. Is this yeah, it right here? That's, yep, that's now, that it. That looks kind of. It looks stubby to me. Well, you know I mean? it does. But, but look how much smaller there. it is. That's actually yeah. that's larger than a sheet of paper. Like it's smaller. I didn't no, put a sheet of paper over it. You can't. 
because it's a, a sheet of paper is a level. Yeah, that's smaller than a sheet of paper. It, that's yeah. all. But can you it's take like it out of a manila folder? That's the thing. That's well, the ultimate that's test. Clearly, what everyone but, does. But, but this has. one, because <laughs> I know, like a lot of musicians had the twelve point nine inch, just because it, it was almost the size of the sheet of paper, and you could see the notes better. But yeah. this one, this one is actually nice because it's smaller. I mean, the footprint is smaller. The screen is the same size, so that'll be like the ultimate. Oh, there it is with the sheet of paper. Yeah. So gestures are obviously going to be coming to the iPad. That's what I was wondering. Like, what kind of iOS? Magic I think that here? here's the thing. I think the gesture-based system. I mean, compare it to Android Pie, and uh, Android still is still incredibly confusing the implementation of the gestures. I think that iOS 12 gets it a little better, uh, and the iPad 10 and you know 10s, 10r get it a little better. I still think, though, that the biggest screen is kind of where the gestures are coming in mm. most handy. And I'm really interested to see if it actually does translate from what I think should be a better use case and a better, uh, I guess, a, a better experience and to see if that actually is the case with the gestures. Um, so we did see, like, there's an image that has kind of, I guess, showing you um, how the, uh, the actual the bezel and yeah. the face ID is working. So the 7 megapixel camera. Uh, please don't take photos with. Does it have a camera on the back? Because please don't take photos with the tablet. Of course, tablet. It, does. Of course, course it, does. it does. Does please it do don't. portrait mode photos though? Please uh, don't. If, if I just if you're my mom and you're Latin, you probably are going to continue <laughs> taking photos with the iPad. I could honestly say those are two things I'm not. Uh, no, but, no, no. Um, but you're not my mom. <laughs> but I don't know why she Latin. she loves taking pictures with her iPad. It's like m more satisfying to her than taking pictures with her phone for some reason because she probably can see it better. Well, but that my dad's like because this see the, yeah. the, see see the, the image is better, yeah. <laughs> so the, the other thing I wanted to point out is the, the other thing that was kind of up in the air was whether or not it was going to have a vertical face ID unlock. We're seeing uh, ambient light sensors on either side of the dot projector. So that makes me think that it's face ID, horizontal face ID unlock is going to be supported. I think that was supported in uh, that, that was I in the it iOS was in code. The code yeah. of iOS 12. So A12X Bionic. X or 10? Is it A1210 or A1210? Well, now X they've messed Bionic. it up for us, so we don't, yeah. even, we, we don't, don't even know. know. Yeah, how can it be A1210? That seems weird. <laughs> no. It has to be the X Bionic. <laughs> but, the, but then they're, they're like totally messing up their marketing too because then they, they made us say 10. Sorry, the but, iPhone 10, and yeah. then now they're saying it's X. Ugh. Oh, I know. It's too, see, it's too confusing. We're, too confusing. We can't even get it straight here. It's just good that A's down in Roman numeral because it's going to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So uh, eight core CPU, four, four performance cores, and four efficiency cores. Apple designed Fusion architecture, 35% faster CPU. It's making me regret I, buying the iPad. I like how they just throw out year. 10 billion transistors. Like the average consumer really cares it, you don't know that, how many but it's, billion it's, transistors. It's funny, it. like testing phones have been doing like all these gaming phones, which are some of the fastest Androids. And even with all like the extra RAM and all that, like uh, one even has a fan so it can cool itself down to overclock the chip. <laughs> Even with all that, it's still slower than like an iPhone XR. Yeah. Like wow. it's that pro that A12 chip is just crazy. Well, bionic A12 Bionic yeah. Bionic X and, and what about the, uh, supersonic and the, the performance metrics of the A12 against uh, on the iPhone versus the Pixel Three even just smoked it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely smoked. Well, it. and this one's uh, uh, the the 12. X. Yeah, so that's gonna. So be it's gonna even, gonna even more, more, even even more faster. Yeah, <laughs> I, that was a joke. Even more faster. Even more I'm, faster I'm just. I'm, I, sometimes <laughs> I have to specify back. my uh, th that, that, that was it was a joke. joke. I didn't even notice that you said it incorrectly as a joke or incorrectly at all because I'm that tired. I mean, it's that early in the morning. It is that so early. You could have got away but, with it. So here's the thing: they're they're saying it's not faster than 92 percent of all portable PCs. So I, you know, that's. Oh, wow, I, that's a big claim. That yeah. is a I'd huge be, claim. I'd be interested to see how yeah. fast it is compared to the Mac. Everybody, too. all yeah. other companies at this point are now challenge accepted. <laughs> Take notes. Um, we have to do some speed tests. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's the speed thing. test, drop test. We're doing all kinds of tests in the oh, coming we have an weeks. Xbox now. What's going on here? Uh, what? what what happened? There's I don't know. There was an Xbox. There was a picture of an Xbox. An Xbox. Oh, Xbox. Oh, it says Xbox the... class performance and uh, a product ninety four. Ooh, they smaller. said the competitor names. That's interesting. Holy wow. smoke! So yeah. can I play Xbox games on my <laughs> iPad? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. That would nope, be. I will Finally, not, I said I've been asking for this for a long, Xbox, long time. I'm not a gamer. Xbox or Xbox three sixty or Xbox one. Because they did, did not they define though. Specify? The picture was definitely an Xbox enables up to one, one terabyte in store, okay, one okay. terabyte storage capacity. No way. Yeah. Yeah, this so, is. So hang on, what do you need a terabyte on your iPad? Well, iPhone? if you're using it like a, a computer. Videos. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, though, are you going to be, uh, if you're going to be taking videos on your iPad, just no. 
really. I've run out editing. of storage on my iPad. Editing, right now. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Well, one terabyte though. I mean, you yeah, probably only had two fifty-six. A lot of a lot of a lot of photographers edit on the iPad. Yeah, um, yeah. That's, so that no, that, that would true. definitely be help. So that I mean, we're finally, hopefully, getting to that point where it could potentially replace uh, well, a laptop. Run, running my uh, Stephen Beach from Tumblr fan page, it's <laughs> like the amount of pictures I have to have on there just, just slow my iPad down. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, Those are some the, very high res yeah. photos. I know. They're all I don't know why they're all raw Photoshop images for some reason. Well, because D&Ds. Photoshop it on the iPad was the big thing, right? Yep. That was a, a couple of weeks ago. That yeah. was the big thing, and obviously, yeah. you know, you're gonna need that terabyte. Ooh, yeah, well, USB C. Ooh, ah, I called it. I called it. I called it. Except I didn't run it. Yes, I did call it. Okay. <laughs> you were so excited. So and excited. Then, ah. <laughs> well, I didn't. I, I I was a little bit regretting my decision to put the USB-C in there because I didn't think the Apple was going to have the courage, but it, they did. <laughs> There's a lot of mileage of that word. I know. Every every single Apple event. Oh, look, so they're showing, they're showing uh, device-to-device connection. So another rumor was that what? it would be able to charge, charge your iPhone, charge your your iPhone and charge uh, your other devices. Can uh, you transfer data between the two? Maybe. I'm, I'm just looking well, at the image. Well, it is Apple now. But, but yeah. they also yeah. said that you were going to be able to hook it up and transmit 4K video. So wow. that's, so, yeah. I you mean, if just it, from that image alone. You could probably hook it up to a monitor. Probably. Guessing, so. And and, oh, and yeah, transmit there 4K. There it is. <laughs> it's like right, right behind your head. It queued right in, queued in right for, right for Patrick. That's too. pretty badass. Yeah. So we are. Th- and that's a 5K monitor, I think, is what I saw. This may be the year that we get close to replacing sure the, the laptop i i remember i know every year scott stein that when he reviews the ipad he says that it's not ready yet to replace his laptop this might be the year guys maybe maybe, yeah, I guess maybe, maybe i'll replace my la- oh wait I already oh wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait a minute. here it is apple pencil that means it's, if it's going to replace the the uh, computer that means it's going to cost nine million dollars nine million <laughs> nine million dollars well, no, think about that like if we're hitting a macbook air at twelve hundred dollars yeah then you want to be able to hit that four hundred to like twelve hundred dollar there's well, a lot, gonna be lot cool. of dollars in between. Well, th- maybe, maybe this, this is, is not 400, but because the other iPad, the regular iPad, is 399, right? Maybe this is the, uh, I think yeah. the cheapest mer- version right now. But maybe this is. Remember, you said that there was no m- sub thousand uh, dollar MacBook at this point. Maybe this is going to be their sub thousand dollar. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. are we thinking? 999 is the. Oh, I'm sorry. Price? I went oh, man. high. The um the iPad 2018 iPad is 329 dollars. So. Oh wow. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty. The there's that's, a lot. There's a lot yeah. of money. Spectrum between there 329 is. and 12 yeah. or 1200 bucks. And we have to think so, is the mini going to survive as well or is mm. that going to be totally written out? I mean, that's another interesting thing. The mini hasn't been updated Smart for keyboard a long folio. time. Uh, well, I remember my time. my iPad second generation 32 gigs was $700. Wow, so that was that was pretty expensive. But the the how long? How that long would be that a ripoff at this right? point. What's that? How many years have you had it now? <laughs> Since 2012. And so if you divide that over a year, to you, that- it charges <laughs> wirelessly though, which is does really it? Interesting. It does. Yeah. Folio looks so, so it, good. Oh, it does. It does charge wirelessly. That is, is huge. That is a big deal. No more, no more weird attachment. No more weird bottom. attachment. No more. Well, replacing the battery if you have a Surface Pencil. Because it looks a little it has, shorter, that's doesn't how it? It, too? it has is a it battery. The same size? I can't tell if it's the same size. It looks a little Sorry? like a tad smaller. It does look a, a tad smaller. Un poquito smaller. Un poquito. Muy bien, Patrick. Uh, gracias. Smart man. keyboard <laughs> folio. That looks so, the smart, the, that looks so sweet like with that uh, the iPad with such tiny bezels on that folio. Yeah, it looks, really it looks like a it looks like sweet. a laptop right there. But the the I don't see the the connector on the the smart connector on the back. Do you did any of you guys see where it's located? No, mm-hmm. I would be looking. For but it, it is still horizontal, so that makes a lot more sense. Well, I would maybe I'm assuming maybe it's it's sort of in a similar position as where the Apple Pencil would be. No, actually, maybe that does that doesn't make sense because then you couldn't charge. Yeah, and have the keyboard connected. I didn't. Uh, it would have they, well, the way that the keyboard is oriented would um, assume that it is on that axis, that right? On the horizontal. So the, that so. might be the 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 one rumor that was off. Maybe the the positioning of that smart connector. Well, there's like looks like there's two different positions. Like this is kind of more straight up. Yeah. And then this is more laid back. Laid See? back. Yeah. Laid back. They have, it's easy like going. Different... Easy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> easy rider. It's easy hey. like Sunday mornings. <laughs> Easy like Sunday. So there might be morning. multiple positions. Positions. <laughs> 12 megapixel camera around the back, true tone flash, and 4K at 60 frames a second. No portrait mode, though, as far as I can tell, which is good because I don't want people to use it as their well, primary Well, that's camera, interesting that they didn't do the... the, the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> so 
<laughs> don't get the benefits Please of other Apple devices. Please don't use it as a camera. But that being, yeah. <laughs> you tell that. You try telling that to my mom know, and watch the I, face of disappointment. Know, That's I our know. next show. Yeah. Right there. Smart HDR. So all of the things that we've seen on the earlier Apple, um, on the iPhone, such as Smart HDR, which is Apple's new way of, of making HDR images, and uh, Group FaceTime, which is an iOS 12 update, which is actually uh, 12.1 which is coming out, Ooh, I Assassin's think, today. Creed. An emoji and Memoji, the uh, advanced face ID. Yeah, yep, yep. And uh, gigabit class LTE. But mm. e there, So there is an eSIM inside there. So oh. I would be interested to know if you could also That's, yeah, do the e what I'm, is, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, no way. Um, and the other thing is uh, 120 frames per second, which is great. The only other device we know that does that is the Razer Phone 2. Right the gaming phone, and going back, they announced that Assassin's Creed will be on the iPad. And what's cool about that, maybe the reference to Xbox was just that you're able to get kind of console. Yeah, you're getting closer like, to exactly. having the same, not the, the same console the experience, power, but the, but the power close. and the catalog selection. And if I could plug that into a monitor and now mm -hmm. I'm playing this. I and can, you can. Yeah, Well, yeah. I can apparently, but uh, as I'm playing like, a game like can. that. And you can. And yeah. wait. That's the thing. But what I have to use the Apple Pencil is like a controller. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I was like, what is the controller going to be? That, could yeah, be, that actually like, might be badass. No, I, be I bet third parties will sell controllers that just connect via Bluetooth. or. <laughs> well, they already have, but I'm not sure uh, how they interface with the iPad uh, specifically. I mean, that, that, but that, I don't think that's an Apple thing, right? I mean, no. that would be a... And we're, right now we're seeing lots of like AR... Oh, no, we're seeing now Assassin's Brotherhood. Here we go. So I'm honestly like, I mean, I know the, the market out there is huge, but gaming, like the console experience on it. Yeah, iPad, I don't think me, it's going to happen. For me, no, I think, I, think, I think there are a lot of people that are incredibly interested in this and this mm -hmm. is going to be yeah. something they will definitely My pick kids. up on. Right. Kids but do you specifically, but I think like the, co the experience, the console experience is very much a lean back on a big right. screen, a big TV. So either it's an external monitor or it's like on your living room exactly, couch right? on a really big screen. Because the whole immersive experience of gaming is not necessary. I mean, it but depends on, on who you but talk that's to. But I'm sure this right? is a It's nice the ultimate Game Boy. <laughs> it kind of is. But I mean, uh, those. I mean, even older iPads have really nice displays, right? So you have this newer display. You have the 120 frame per second refresh rate. It's going to look insane. It's going to look so cool. This is going to be a really expensive uh, gaming device <laughs> for totally your kids. It's really it's will yeah. be. Yeah. This might NBA be a little more than 799. Can. No, they're gonna. We're riding out the iPad too till it's dead. <laughs> I think so. That's okay. how, but that's really that's the dilemma of the iPad. It's they're such a good device. I think. I know that it's lasting. You forever. don't trade them in until you need to. Need to. There we go. Two K games. Two K games. Yeah. Well, uh, NBA Two K. Nice. That. I mean, that's the thing. I. I. And they're now they're pandering with the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Oh, good call. I didn't even notice oh, that. Now we see some Golden well, State. Clay, three-time, all-time three-pointer yeah. record will, will last night. Let, that was are they going to let the home team win, or are they going to let the <laughs> Apple team win? <laughs> How is this one going to play out? Da -da -da -da. That, yeah. This is. Uh, I, I'm. I'm. I'm ready, ready to see pricing. <laughs> You're ready to see I, pricing. I'm ready to see these boss. Yeah, I want to play. Demo. I, I want to play, play this game. So I want to play this. This looks. This looks, so this looks hyper real. Like this is. If you look at all the sweat. <laughs> actually, this me, does look hyper real. It, honestly, I, if you I, told me that this is the last night's game, this is the Brooklyn Nets versus the Golden State I was, Warriors, I would not have a clue. So. If I'm Seriously. full disclosure. That's what I thought was going on here because I don't game? watch. I, I don't watch the basketball very much. So I'm I was like, like, oh, there cool. Was a, there was a Warriors it's game a last night. Maybe they were playing Brooklyn. I didn't know. Yeah, that's just tremendous. That's... They captured the whole game in real time. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And then, yeah. Recreating. And it. I was like, oh, look at those nice little circles underneath Ooh. the players. Yeah. Like the are up. Clearly, uh, it's Apple just score. Yeah. <laughs> Number got... one sports fans right here, Lexi and myself. Yeah. Number got one. got Katie's beard. Uh, How's right. it? Yeah, is that Looks accurate? Pretty good, yeah. You think? Yeah. I I wouldn't know, but I will take you. <laughs> this is like. This I mean, looks so cool. This it does look. It I mean, looks, this is obviously perspiration and all. This is yeah, highly optimized how would for you, this demo. How would so, you like to be the guy having to play that on stage in front of? I mean, just like performance. Like, oh, I'm not gonna. Oh, I missed it. Oh. I'm sure they've Fred. practiced a lot, and if all else fails, they have that cut to pre-recorded yeah. tape. <laughs> Look at the sweat. They keep coming back to that shot. Yeah, I know. Like, I okay, mean, that's hyper realistic, but that's good. just literally one frame. Like, that's not, there's yeah. no emotion. No, it's there. 120 frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> 
though it's probably what 30 <laughs> frames per whole, second yeah, the this is gonna become it. a meme i don't know why uh, yeah i know is, this, is, this is why i want i want ashley back on the line because that would tell us <laughs> i know exactly i was what's just happening i just Twitter. slapped her i'm like where are you guys well, well, hopefully someone tonight. will entertain tonight. Get out of the studio. We Jeez. want to talk to Ashley. Hopefully that someone will Photoshop AirPod 2s. Oh, yes. That would, be good. That, that would be good. That was real good. Scott's Stein right now. That was a long, s- slow close-up of sweat. Yeah. <laughs> blood like, of sweat. Like you do. Like you do when uh, you have sweat. Yeah. Okay, I do. Now it's starting to look a little bit more gamey, game-y as, they are, as they're like huddling in to cheer. That yeah, that the gave it away for me. The giveaway, the audience is the real yep. giveaway. I think the action. I mean, if you just took a passing glance at that, you'd be like, "Oh, it's a game on." And then you look well, at the audience. Well, they don't like, have any uh, food or drinks. So clearly, yeah, the audience is too true. excited. They're way too excited, yeah. <laughs> and they have nothing in their hands. This is like, the no, thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, they're not. They're not all taking photos, looking down at their phones. They're not taking pictures of their, their iPads. IPad, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's clearly, not real a realistic situation. All right, that no. was great. Okay, I, Adobe. I'm sold on that game. You're sold. I will buy that I game. Mean, that yeah. looks fun. I want to play it. Adobe on the. I'll, I'll get it. We can play it. Okay, I'll play. I'll play you. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's play. I'll, 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 I won't. Let's do this. But uh, <laughs> Adobe on the, because <laughs> I suck at gaming. Oh, Adobe. This is Adobe. So cool. This is this. This I will can definitely jump on. Uh, Adobe on the. Are we gonna get Premiere on here? iPad. Uh, oh. Is it, is it, or, is it, or is it? Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay, wow. what do you think? That what do you think? Premiere is going to change a lot we're, of stuff. We're going oh, to see the Photoshop fine. demo, I think, probably Yeah, we'll now. see the Photoshop the demo. The real Photoshop, I, not, the, not the baby light. one they've had on the it The baby one? <laughs> yeah. The issue with the, uh, obviously, the Adobe ecosystem is moving towards the creative cloud. And some people mm. love yeah. it. And some people like me like not having to activate your software and yeah. buying the subscription model every month. And I, I don't know. I haven't used, I have to be honest, I haven't used any of the Adobe products on the iPad, not even Photoshop yet. So I want to know if this is going to be moving towards that kind of subscription-based model or if it's just literally you buying an app in the store. I think store. you can do, I think it's either it's or. Either? It's either okay. or, yeah, which is neat because that way if you just want that, you can buy yeah. it and it's I maybe 30 bucks, 29 bucks or, or 20 bucks. Or if you already have, if you already are a member, if you already of have Cloud, a subscription, you don't have to pay just, extra. It's just there. Okay, um, well that's. I believe good. that's how that's what they mm-hmm. announced a couple that's, weeks ago. Okay, that's good. I um, I missed that because I wasn't at Adobe man. Max. Okay, so she's demoing, but looking at the iPad still, that is squared that, off edges look so badass. I'm actually, like, and 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 look at look at her editing tool. The uh, Apple Pencil is a looks like a fantastic editing tool. I've actually never used it as an editing tool, but it's so much more intuitive than having to use your mouse. It's kind of reverting back to... Is that a pro? Is she using a pro? She's She's using using a a pro, and she's using the Apple Pencil to edit photos. Um, I'm sure it's already... Look at those menus. It looks so nice. The interface looks so good. I I want this. (laughs) I need to use it though because I'm so accustomed to Photoshop on the desktop. But, but and then I think the big learning curve for me is going to be learning. And because I love the reason why I love Photoshop on the desktop is because I have so much customization. I can put windows sure. wherever I want. I can open up like the history in one side and then have that right alongside. And if there's a lot of going back and forth between those things on the iPad, then it's probably not the tool for me. But well, imagine I, the precision like- for the, from the from editing from a pencil versus having because we had like you had to learn to edit. Like precision wise on a mouse, oh, wow. and to and the and to tap like moving it with a pencil is kind of like I, I'm really into art, and so that just I'm dexterous with my hand but much more than I am with a mouse. I, I think, getting to your point though, I believe this new version addresses a lot of that, keeping a lot of the controls and shortcuts as similar as they could, but obviously changing them to make them more sensible on an iPad. Right, and to but be again, f- I have not used it either. Yeah, but looking at the <laughs> interface so far, it looks so much different than the light versions yeah. on it. And it does look like I can find the tools and shortcuts pretty easily. But to be fair, designers are already using graphics tablets and pencils on right. using on the desktop. Right. So transitioning to a pencil on the iPad is not that tricky. But the thing is, those tools are already there on the desktop. It's nice to have them on the iPad, but maybe this is not going to be something that is going to appeal to the people that already are using graphics tablets. That actually is going to appeal yep. to people that are more hobbyists like ourselves, right? Yeah, and who are not doing this as their you know their well, career. Essentially, I, I flip it back. The uh, I'm not. To, I feel like I'm speaking for Adobe now, but I feel like the <laughs> other aspect of this is its reliance on Adobe Cloud for always backing up. So if you and oh, I are... Oh, but I don't yeah. like that. I, I don't want it in Adobe Cloud. I want I it on device. I believe you can also use like other services like Dropbox and stuff like that. But I don't want it in the cloud at all. I still want it on my device. I'm a traditional... Look, I want to go back to Photoshop version 5. I believe you still leave it on your device. See, I can, like, I want to go back to version 5. This, is, this is getting heated right here. It is. No, Alexia, as I say, I, <laughs> you, can, you can still uh, save things on the device, um, but you can also have them. So if you're working on a 
illustration or a graphic and then you're done with it, I can pick up right where you left off instantaneously. You're saying mine wasn't good enough, so you have to fix exactly. it? Exactly. Clearly, yes. That's what you were saying. Because so. you don't know the shortcut. I'm going to step out of this discussion. Can we go back to NBA? <laughs> Eat my chair, yeah, I know. I like yeah. that. That was better. No, all, all that being said, it's uh, it's, it's an impressive demo. This is mind-blowing this is, we're doing this on an iPad. I'm, I'm, I'm very, 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 very excited about this. But I, also, I come from a drawing background, not from a necessarily a um, Lightroom editing background. So that the fact that I can go back to being seeing what's on paper and using a pencil on this actual screen instead of using it on a like a, on a surface where you have to look down to see and then see it see your changes up on the screen yeah that that to me would be amazing so not having to it, it's kind of reverse engineering to how you would do use a pen and paper um so I don't know. So this I, PSD I like file they're working on has 157 layers. Like that's that's hardcore. That's 157 insane. layers. This is a three gigabyte file Damn. PSD file. All right. Okay. That would that would uh, that, that would make my air crash for sure. Oh yeah, that would probably for make sure. my pro stumble because even <laughs> even Premiere is like uh, yeah. Uh, uh. So La that's a technical noise layering that it on makes, Photoshop is what kills yeah. my air. Yeah. At this oh, now she's making AR. Oh wow. This wow. Is, insane so is this this is like kind of reminds me of the minecraft demo remember from the m company that i cannot name apparently <laughs> but she just did this though Microsoft. like it's, <laughs> it's crazy you're like what company like, <laughs> minecraft so creating some sort of ar demo by holding the tablet up and having butterflies and forest and forest ah. it's johnny, johnny obviously johnny the things Ives. that we would be using it for right johnny ives magical forest. Making, i love i love making magical forests with johnny ives <laughs> <laughs> with Johnny, with Johnny. Now, that's, that's a game some... of a kids TV, uh, kids game show. The Magical Forest with Johnny Art. <laughs> All right, kids, get your aluminium billet stuff. You're going to make a forest. Oh, wait, uh, not coming till 2019? The AR application. Oh, the AR. IPad. Okay, Yeah, okay. don't worry. Say, Photoshop on the iPad. The here. thing that would be fun that they have not announced would be Lightroom, like a, an actual yeah, Lightroom yes, on that. Yes, thank awesome. you for bringing mm -hmm, that up. Mm -hmm. Lightroom is my go-to tool now more than Photoshop is. And so I, I think, but the thing is with Lightroom is catalog management is the huge one in Lightroom. And if they can streamline that between the iPad, desktop, and not necessarily, I mean, I, the solution is obviously they say, use the Adobe Cloud. <laughs> but I have so many different libraries and so many different Lexi has devices. issues with the, cl oh, the, the yeah. Adobe Cloud. The cloud. <laughs> I have issues with the Adobe Cloud this because I don't, I don't want it to get locked in. So if yeah. I decide not to have a Creative Cloud subscription, I like lose access to my files like, or yeah, after I a certain amount of time. I think you're able to save them, not just to Adobe, but like to like Dropbox. <laughs> no, I was trying to be like, <laughs> like Patrick, uh, Patrick works I'm for Adobe. Trying not to put you out to dry here. So no, just trying I know. To, I, I know. There is a rescue there. No, I, but I Dropbox appreciate Dropbox costs it. money, and you only get five. I know, like you, but then yeah. you're locked into Drop. You know, it's like no, the that's solution the thing. It is, is still an yeah. ecosystem thing. Whereas that's I'm still very much, at least when it comes to my editing and like photos and videos, I'm still like a local on device mm -hmm. kind of girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of the cloud. I know a lot of people are, but I still love things being on device. And the problem is, I still have so many different. Well, now you have one terabyte. Oh well, sure. Is that you? USB, does that support, like, I don't know, hard drives? Like, can I put an external hard drive in that USB C port on this iPad? Because yeah. that's like, that's the, a good point, actually. Because then I'm that's able to point. move these around. Am, able, am mm -hmm. I able to take an old PSD file like that was for desktop yeah. Adobe, and put it have in it on there. an external mm -hmm. ASD, and then plug it in so I'm not using any cloud services? So I'm looking at a promotional video of the iPad right now, and it looks like the um, pencil can only be put on the top. So there's only one position. It's not like magnetic all throughout the device. So that's interesting. Um, I'm not seeing a, a smart connector though. Oh, I see. It's on the um, the left side. It's on the left side. So wh it is. Where? It's like the side with the volume rocker. Oh, interesting. But that's the. Uh, that's the no, but is that the oh, horizontal yeah. or the? Ver oh. No, look. It's on the bottom. I guess it's on. The, it's right on the edge. I think. The so smart that, is, that does correlate with the rumor. No, then? it no? doesn't. The rumor had it above, oh, like above. on the back side, above right, the okay. lightning connector yeah. or the USB-C connector on the bottom. So it's actually put in right on the edge, if I'm looking at it correctly, which That's is interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, it's. Uh, I'm it, curious to see how thin it actually is. In real, it looks life. pretty thin. Yeah, it does look hands. pretty thi thin, because because the 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 shape of the edges make it appear a little bit thicker, but it's actually a lot slimmer. It looks like so. I think it's like one it. millimeter thinner than the current iPad. Yeah. What it was on the Splashes of paint on that screen, and they have a nice little laundry 
a laundry spinning, video spinning. up and down, up and down. Lots of spinning of the iPad again. And uh, editing on iMovie? Come on. No. <laughs> like, no, that was iMovie. No. No, no thank you. That's just No, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I sound like Nancy negative. Editing you do. on wow. iMovie. <laughs> but so Lightning Connector, Apple Pencil. Sorry, USB-C, not Lightning Connector, Apple Pencil. <laughs> what, actually? Wait, now no, yeah, I'm not sure. Garage band. Now I'm not sure whether you can. Garage band. Actually, I, I don't know if that was GarageBand. I think it was like some beat thing, but maybe. I it think was. yeah, it didn't. It didn't look like, didn't look it. like it. It I looked GarageBandy to me. Real, Garage I band. haven't <laughs> used the latest iteration of GarageBand. Yeah. Garage. GarageBand. GarageBand. So that's the pencil connector. Oh, yeah. You can. <gasps> that's interesting. You can put. You you can transfer media from device to device so uh, with good. a connector. That, with that a connector. Is, so you, they they showed hooking it up to uh, a camera. So, Oh, yeah. Well, that's so you've been With able it. to do so from camera to iPad or iPhone. You have been able to transfer photos for a while th using the special USB connector from USB A <laughs> to Lightning. So you have been able to do that. USB A, USB -A to, li yeah, to Lightning? The, yes. You have been able to do that yeah, for a while now. Um, at least transfer. I'm not sure. I think it's USB A to Lightning at least. Um so you've been able to transfer like raw images uh, if you had a compatible version of iOS and you've been able to transfer JPEGs at least for quite a while, a couple of years now. I've, I did a how-to on it ages ago. So yeah, it's a lightning to USB-A and so that's been a thing. $799 for the 11 inch. Wow, that's yeah. not that much more really? than the original that I had. I had no, but, seven. But that's for 64 gigs. What do you, I mean. I was Mine was 32 and it was 700 bucks. Really? So that's that's pretty good. So actually. and then the twelve inch uh, starts at sixty four, goes up to a terabyte, nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. This is the new basically option uh, for the MacBook Air price range. So nine hundred and ninety nine dollars though. That's that's, that's a that's a. I, I, plus Apple Care, you're, you're yeah. looking at almost yeah. 1200 well, plus, plus, if you're going to spend on the 12.9 inch, you're probably not going to get the 64 gigabyte, right? Right. Yeah. That's the so, thing. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go that low. Does anyone remember what the original 12.9 inch Pro cost? No, I feel like it was like $799 or $899, wasn't it? $799 or $899. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. Off the top I, think, of my head, I, I don't want to say it, but I think this is the, the most expensive iPad to date. Yeah. It definitely, it definitely sounds like it. I don't remember That's, the 12.9 inch original price the, the launch start maybe it was more than that the week you know there's a tool that we there. can use <laughs> it's called a uh, z google it's z google is it one one two nine eleven twenty nine so that was the what? most expensive yeah. yeah that was definitely yeah so that was definitely i do remember being very shocked at that price when it did come out so this is actually iPad. cheaper which is a really uh, and it's, it's under a thousand dollars thing that under, under a thousand yeah that but like here's it, your laptop under a thousand for, still for 64 but yeah 64 gigs. But I could I plug know. in an external hard drive, apparently. So. I wonder if, if the, <laughs> the a terabyte costs every 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 price point. Sorry, every storage model goes up a hundred dollars. Is that would that be accurate? Wait, wait, that sounds so. You could spend correct. you could spend fourteen hundred dollars on a on a iPad plus the keyboard plus the plus keyboard the, plus the, the pencil. pencil. Yeah. And I'm assuming the pencil is going to be about ninety nine dollars, and the keyboard yeah. attached maybe like one twenty nine or mm -hmm, maybe ninety nine mm -hmm, itself. Mm -hmm. So that those, I mean, I'm guessing those are going to be the prices. That's kind of around what the surface pricing is. I'd be surprised if it was cheaper and they yeah. undercut the surface pricing. If they did, that would be pretty amazing. I doubt it though because we'll have to go Apple. on the Apple Store once it's not down. Once it's not <laughs> down, and then we can we can work it out. Sort out the pricing here, mm -hmm. but I guess. Kind of the pricing we expected, right? Seven ninety nine yeah. and nine ninety nine. Although there's only, um, well, I guess that's that's pretty in 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 line with yeah with what so, we expected. So here we go. That looks like they're wrapping mm. up now. And Here's all the pricing. The pricing: the ten point five six forty nine iPad Pro, the eleven inch seven ninety nine, and the twelve point nine inch from nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yes. So. I want. I want to know the the highest configuration of that twelve point nine inch iPad Pro, uh, and that this is a confu they, There's a lot of iPads now. This is confusing. Again, Apple is segmenting the market so much. I think that it is very confusing. If you are a consumer going into the Apple Store, you've decided, yes, I want an iPad. I perhaps want to use it as my, I guess, a complement to my laptop or potentially a laptop replacement. I'm at that stage where I don't need like the full grunt power of having the laptop. Uh, in terms of like that full size keyboard and that kind of flexibility there, but 
going in and you're like, well, what size do I choose? What configuration I know, right? do I choose? Yeah. Like, that's going to be their first question. You'll be like, I want an iPad Pro. They're going to be like, which yeah, size? You're going to be like, I don't like, know. three that's sizes? Kind of, that's I just exactly want like the laptops, though. I mean, you have the Pro line and you have the non-Pro line or the Air line, I guess, now. But you kind of go one of those two, and then you're going to pick, do you want like the big screen, the small screen, and the in-between screen? Yeah. Mm, yeah, but then I, there's so much in I between think, that yeah, too. Yeah, like the specs thing. and speed. And the the um, it's like they need a store where people could like advise you which one. To get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see if the Apple Pencil is backward compatible to older older. Yes, uh, uh, definitely not the wireless charging component of it. Probably but that's, not. That's, that was what I would be interested in. Is exactly, like how would you charge it then? Exactly. Did we, we ever don't see exactly it? where that little keyboard connector is? Because no. I think it no, it, it, it's on the edge. It is on the edge. It's uh, it appears to be on the edge from what I could gather, but. It, your the your question about the Apple Pencil, how does it charge if you don't have a, uh, yes. an iPad, a new iPad? How, exactly. That, that's it's probably just a USB. You think? Something. Isn't but, that how the old one charged? No, because this one doesn't have that little like it's, cap on yeah, the back. That's mm. the thing. So I'm the wondering. Apple Store is back up right now, but there are no the products don't seem to be updated as from what I can see. It still looks like the old products, uh, and so I'm. That's at least when I went to store.apple.com. Seems like they're wrapping up this. Event, they are so. wrapping it up now. So it looks like, where, where are we? Yeah, they iOS definitely 12, have it looks like they're saying, which is out now. The new up, update to 12.1 is out. Um, Apple Music. Oh, it's Lana Del Rey is now performing at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Nice. Uh, and it's so, also worth to say that the I Apple Store is now in dark mode. I've never seen it black. I think before. it's been in dark mode. I Has think it? the past like couple of days I've been really? checking. It was huh. dark mode. I've never seen it like yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. But then it goes back to bright mode at the top. Because you scroll down. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, nothing has been updated on the... Yeah, so nothing's been updated yet. The store is back up, which is interesting. So we don't know yet the exact specs uh, and where the location of that connector is. Well, we, we'll keep What all the people want to know. We'll where keep, is the keep checking. Off? It's still the old one. Where is the connector? There's still the pencil. I still want to know how much that pencil is. If it is more than $99, yeah. imagine if it's more than $99. Oh do you think they would go, or do you think they would go, do you think they'd go less? Do you think it would be like, oh, it's 79 Something like that. No. no. It's going to be the same. It's it going to be the more, same. It's got more. Uh, oh, actually, okay. So, no, I thought it was new. 11 inch and 12 inch. No, the store is still not updated. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Well, maybe they're, go, let's go to their um, news, their news site. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good, that's a good. Just to see if they have any announcements. Anyway, um, so so Lana Del Rey is performing live on stage. Oh, now jacket. there's a little new tab. Now it now it changed. Well, maybe, oh, maybe yeah? it didn't. No. no. Now it changed back to white, and there's a. Oh no! Here we go. It is updated. New. So if you go through to the Apple Store and you tap on Buy, uh -huh. you'll be able to see the <laughs> new designs <laughs> and then that? the configuration. So at the the blue button on the yep. right oh, of the okay. screen, so click gotcha. Buy. I don't know if it's going to take you so that. All right, now put your credit card in, Steve. <laughs> so not that one. No, I'm on a different one. I'm on the iPad it. Pro. So you have to go to the iPad Pro. Page. Thinner takes it all. Okay, yeah. Is so that? Go back to iPad and then tap on iPad Pro on the left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this yeah. is this exciting yeah, live that, show the coverage. The new one. This is new. There we go. And, and then I'll tap buy. buy. So oh, there we there go. It there goes. we go. It's so we can go up. back now. So to, we can actually check, check out the pencil. Is it? Oh no no. First, first look up Ooh, the 12.9 inch for one terabyte. I, I, I'm just curious. 12, yes, and that's what exactly what I was gonna do. Do, gonna do 12.9. One terabyte. One terabyte. Sorry. Ooh, 12 .9. Guess, guess, guess. 14. 18.99 <gasps> with Wi-Fi no. and cellular. No. Yes. 18.99 yes. for Wi-Fi and okay. cellular. 12.9 okay. space gray. One terabyte. What about without Wi-Fi? Uh, sorry, just Wi-Fi. 17.99. That's not 17.49. No. Yeah. There we 18 go. 18.99. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There we Holy go. Smoke and 1900. Buy an Apple pencil. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, I, the thing okay, is, though, the that? new Apple Pencil, I couldn't it's, find it on the store yet. It's on, go to, go to the search accessories. bar, I'm accessories. I'm going to search for accessories, and then, ooh, guess what? 900, sorry, $99. $129. No. What? $129 right. for the new Apple Pencil. Wow. Yeah. You know, I mean, why why would they undercut uh, the previous generation? Wow. They want people to use an Apple Pencil. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good point. I mean, how Could many I people have Could I use the old Apple Pencil in the new... 
Yes, okay. but you wouldn't yes. get the wireless charging and all of. Uh, I don't. And I, I don't think... know how we're gonna put, what right. I plug it in. Yeah, seriously. I have to plug really... it into an iPhone. Yeah, and I'd be interested because <laughs> because you, like Vanessa. did they talk about? I don't know because we weren't watching this live. Obviously, we're going off the blog. Was there any mention about the pressure sensitivity or kind of any of the new? I bet the lag time for the pencil is going to be. Well, it's already pretty good, right? Latency no, but there the... still was a little bit. Like there still was, but I mean, you, if you, I would have thought that would have been like the top tier yeah. thing that they would have mentioned. Probably. It does say industry leading low latency. Agency. It doesn't give you a number. But they though. were kind of industry leading before. They were, yeah. they were, but they, yeah. it, it still it had a slight one. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. One hundred and twenty-nine dollars magnetically attaches wow. and pairs. So, uh, how would you? Does it mention anything how you would charge it if you don't? You have to have the iPad. I yeah. would assume. IPad. I mean, I don't. I don't see any any other documentation. Could, at least on here. Unless there was like, unless there go. was like another kind of mat or something yeah. you could put it on. So it's only. Uh, yeah. Can we address this, please? Yeah. So it's only compatible. <laughs> it's official. Yeah. It's official. It's official. Air, power. Air, power is dead. Air power mat air power is, is dead. Oh. There are no mention of this. We have not heard any mention of the air power mat. It is not at the in the store anymore. There is no reference of it in the store. It has been wiped clean of its existence. They want us to forget get that they ever mentioned the air power mat rest in peace rest air in power. peace I mean, that's power? here's a little first look yeah. we did about it yeah oh, <laughs> oh look at that i mean so this is you the put thing. a pencil on there you could put a pencil I mean, I would, room for it if we go back in time go to back the time, in time machine with yeah. now what we have now the new apple pencil put it on the air power mat and see if it charges that's, nope that's a shame that is a shame that's a real Aww. shame so it's just not ready then no it's not, gonna it's not gonna happen i don't think it's gonna happen no. at all no i don't think so i mean it, it, at this point, it would just be embarrassing that like two years later, yeah, because we're going it up. Yeah. It, this was announced in sept. This was teased last September. So this has been over a year in the making. This is, I'm not sure when this happened, when something like this has happened with Apple. Maybe it was, they, they did announce the, um, the Apple Watch with a pretty big lead time, but not like not this. this much. Not and this much. And the HomePod as well was the also HomePod. a lead time, but it was. I think the HomePod was September last year, and that was got released what mm, end of February or maybe, I think it was the, was the it end of January, maybe this year. The HomePod. The HomePod. Right. Yeah. We got, yeah. We got Ashley back, so maybe she could tell Ashley. us what the people Fantastic. are thinking Ashley. about this. Like Hello, Ashley. <laughs> I'm Hi, so friend. glad you're back. We Welcome missed you back. during the live broadcast, but you're back in the we other the end of the live broadcast. So, what did that? you kick those people out and tell them that yes. you were more important? Et. Et. I d yes, we did. We kicked them. Go ahead. <laughs> is, there, is there foot? Is there footage of that? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Wham! Get out of here. <laughs> We're all, we actually all just record at the same time here, so they're just, they're just filming right, <laughs> <laughs> um, right behind the camera. Um, so, so no air power, which I think we kind of knew, which, you know, people were Rest sad, in peace, air power. Pour one out for air know, power. Think, <laughs> so my, my best friend and I had a running bet on this because he thought maybe it would show up today. And I said, um, if, it, if it doesn't show up today, it, they have gone back to square one. And I think we can maybe a little confidently say that like something something's going on there that like, <laughs> yeah. is a real big problem so or there's some major hurdle that they just can't quite crack which you know like that that happens sometimes and that's okay and i'd rather them get it done right as opposed to uh you know rushing it out and then having it have a bunch of problems <laughs> no um, note seven <laughs> note seven <laughs> yeah well, and it's like, you know, antenna gate, like, is another good one, remember? Yeah. Like, we, yeah. you're holding it wrong. Like, that was a big deal because they, they kind of wanted to go out. So, yeah, but um, no one but, caught you know, fire with antenna gate. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. Nobody, that is true. Nobody did. At least I don't know of anyone. So, uh, that would have been really bad. I was interested. So, Thanks, obviously, I, I, we, um, we, weren't watch we were watching a little bit of the keynote, but we were obviously talking through it. And so, there were a lot of things in there that, I think were potentially meme worthy or something that maybe people were uh, might have been talking about on Twitter. In particular, we noticed there was uh, during that M NBA 2K demo, there was like that very slow, steady s shot of one of the players from the Brooklyn team uh, with the sweat. I don't know if anyone else picked up on that. On I don't know. That was just like a screaming for a meme to be made of it. Did you a see sweaty meme. a sweaty meme? Did you see it? what was what was the kind of like the general consensus on on Twitter on on the event itself? Like maybe not on the sweaty I, meme character, but anything else. <laughs> I'm actually gonna say so. You, one of the, my favorite things about any uh, tech event is being on social and seeing sort of generally how people react to different things, and obviously. If you follow me on me on Twitter, you've seen me kind of like live snarking Apple events because it's fun. 
and exciting. <laughs> and um, honestly, this is like really quiet. And I think part of it is because half of the country was not awake. Is asleep. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready yeah. To, to start their day. So I think it was actually pretty like quieter than normal on social media. And also, um, this was a little bit more of a uh, a less hyped event. So I feel like we. I feel like we kind of knew about it and then it was like, okay, like we have some ideas about what to expect. Like, you know, with, there's always with an iPhone event, like there's this sort of extra that we get. And I, I don't think we had that here today, um, but I wasn't underwhelmed. In fact, like I really love the new iPad, but it definitely was like a more muted response on social. Like I was really so sleepy. surprised because usually, yeah. So sleepy one over snarky. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Snarky didn't like, even get out of bed. Like people That's are getting thing. ready to start their day, right? It's like nobody's even in their offices yet to watch the event, like and pretend they're working. And uh, here, here on the West Coast, like nobody's pretending that they're working while like listening to the keynote, you know, or whatever, and then typing furiously about it on Twitter. Like we kind of missed out on that, which is a little bit of a bummer. But I did see some like really. I saw one question in particular, which I thought was really good. Our very own Lindsay Turrentine. Uh, tweeted about the pencil. She was like, I think this is actually one of the more exciting things. Like, this is really cool. She's like, this is weird, but I really think the new Apple pencil is the hottest news of this hashtag Apple event. And then there was a question from Colin. So he, a response. So Colin says, it's impressive, but what happens if you use a case as most people do? Does the wireless charging still work? And I think that's a True. really good question. Like, good. what do you guys yes. think, good question. think we're going to see? That wireless also, charging, or will it be like Apple exclusive to the to their folio case? Well, and I, and I, I I have another question to add to your question to Lindsay's question, uh, Ashley, which is I'm actually also really interested in the Apple Pencil, and it's supposed to have a much better lag time. Um, but what if you you bought an iP uh, an iPad last year, or sorry, two years ago? And you don't want to upgrade the iPad, but you want the pencil. Does how do you charge it? I mean, uh, is it a regular? That, do you have to get a regular charging mat? That's an excellent question, and I would imagine that Apple probably thought Air Power would solve that problem. <laughs> uh -huh. so that's, Oops. Uh, I'm gonna guess they were like, "Let's do a wireless pencil. We're making this Air Power mat. It's gonna be great." And now they're like, kind of. <laughs> I, I I almost wonder if they backed themselves into a corner on that because yes, of course you would want. I bought an iPad last year, and I'm now I'm like, gosh, I guess. <laughs> Do I have to buy a new yep. iPad Pro? Like, because I want right. that pencil and I, my Apple pencil is always dead. And so this is yep. like my yes. number one problem with it. So being able to wirelessly charge it by snapping it to the iPad is exactly what I always wanted for the original one. But yes. if you can't make that happen, then right. I, I really well, then... do think that it was, I really do think they were like, Air Power will fix this. And now <laughs> yes. Air Power can't fix it. And to your point, like w the we were looking at the different price points for for the different iPads, and the you can spend up to nineteen hundred dollars on an iPad Pro, like twelve point nine inch with one terabyte, and with the Wi Fi and the and the LTE, and then you add an Apple Pencil to that, and then maybe the the keyboard and. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> you know, you're spending a lot of money. That's well, what you're one, doing with like, your life. <laughs> yeah, one. Why aren't you buying like two Microsoft Surfaces? And then, right. <laughs> like, and then, and then on top of that, like it just because it's not even a fully fledged computer. Like, I if you're gonna spend that kind of money, obviously you want the new MacBook Air. Um, and you could probably spend, you know, it's eleven ninety nine, and then you got another six hundred dollars in dongles or whatever. And, um, <laughs> and so it feels like that's like about the same price. Uh, but yeah, I, that, that does seem really odd, right? Like it's it's a little bit, yeah, it's very strange to me. Like I get what kind that, of dongles are you buying for six hundred dollars? Expensive dongles. <laughs> well, Apple dongles, of course. So I know. Yeah. I know. Well, have hey, all so go, the go Going to the question about the case, the smart keyboard folio that they announced, it looks like there's not sides on it, so that would allow the pencil to charge so, for that case. And this is the on. other thing, though, is like, Apple is it? Has, like, I'm sorry, Apple has definitely set up their case to work. But my question is, much like we saw, um, you know, the the battery cases go away uh, with the iPhone 10 last year, we haven't really seen those battery cases that were so popular. Um, because it became more proprietary, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I'm correct. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But we saw a lot of battery cases, third-party battery cases, go away. So I'm wondering if this is also going to be the same, where it's like, really, if you want that full iPad Pro experience, you have to buy Apple's case. Yeah, and then I, I would wonder, too, if this was some phones that are not Apple phones, that you can have a thin case on it and still wirelessly charge the phone. 
I don't know if that would allow, right. obviously, for magnetically connecting a pencil, but at least charging it. I don't know. So there's a lot of questions with I'm that sure and could... what kind of cases are. So. Right. I'm sure you could attach it to the case, or maybe people will start creating cases with an actual cutout where you place the pencil on the iPad, which would make the most sense. <laughs> get a, get those scissors funny, out. Though. Get those scissors out. Cut a hole in your Look, iPad cutouts case. were very big last season, and so I'm just taking a page from the fashion industry and thinking that could be the way they go. That I would make like it so thinking. much bigger, like though. Isn't that the whole point that you have this nice, slim iPad, and then you're putting a, a massive case with a with the well, thing that people put pokes the, out the folio case yeah. on and stuff you know or like like if you have a really slim case with just a cutout that exposes that side of the ipad so that you can oh i see what you say yeah it, yeah 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 like a, like a shoulder cut out on a sweater they were very got it <laughs> you attach your pencil yeah, like to it like, yeah attach your pencil <laughs> to your shoulder yeah, you're, yeah that would be really that would be nice. that would be a pretty only in robots <laughs> yeah but th would that would that then like and robots <laughs> make it more exposed because you're exposing the whole side of the ipad but i guess it is a thicker i, think so. I don't think it would it wouldn't but that the use case for that it wouldn't really matter because you know you're using it in that configuration you're probably stuck on the desk anyway you're not really going to be toting it around necessarily um using it charging and i mean maybe you would while it's in the folio if you're out and about i would assume that you would charge it while at the because i wonder if it charges while the ipad is locked that's what i would be interested in or as in like if Probably. it was just stationary yeah, yeah. I, it would have to i'm I would assuming imagine so or, yeah and it stops at you know when it hits 100 percent, it stops right and i like i would right. also imagine so i just got back from vacation and while i was on the plane I spent some time using the pencil to like, you know, doodle and, and hang around and procreate and all that stuff. But then I wanted to watch uh, Haunting of, on Hill House. Uh, so I just, you know, put my pencil back in my backpack or whatever, because I didn't snap it to the iPad <laughs> and then, you know, like set everything up to watch. But I would imagine that's sort of the use case, right? Where it's like, you're out and about, you just want to like snap yeah. it really quickly and be, have access to it really quickly. And that I think is the other thing that might mean uh, little cutouts for the pencil, like for third party case makers, because then it's very easily accessible. You're not having to, and it also is still getting charged. Like that to me is the most logical. Listen, case designers, just call me. <laughs> I got some ideas. I'll draw them out. <laughs> That'd be great. Well, then I, I, throw, I throw a question out to us all. So would you rather the new MacBook Air or would you rather the iPad Ooh, with the MacBook new pencil? Air. Like, I'm sorry. I'm still not enough of a, a – I don't have enough of a use case for two separate devices, a tablet and a laptop, and that's why I would always err on the side of the laptop. That being said, I did do the math on how much it would cost to buy the fully specced out iPad Pro, the 12.9-inch, one terabyte with Wi-Fi and cellular, add the folio and the add pencil. the pencil, $2,227 mm. in Sounds the Sounds like US. a deal. Sounds like a deal, guys. Done. Sign me oh, up. Adam <laughs> no, thank you. That's a lot. That's exactly. a lot of Del Taco. That's $2,000 exactly. worth of Del Taco. That's $2,000. That's Taco Bell. Just FYI. If you're I'm, just if you're, I'm going to do some math here, and I'm going to say that is a lot of chalupas. I, <laughs> yeah, to me, that is not – don't buy that iPad. Like, I, that seems – no, that's me. Unless well, maybe crazy. not the one terabyte one, at least. Like this is like that's your the only, back. Uh, your only device. Your only device. You are an artist who needs the iPad and doesn't want any other like Wacom or other tablet. And like the use case is so specific to have that top end iPad exactly. that I yeah I can't possibly imagine. And I agree with you guys. I think if you had to choose between one or the other, I think for me I would ninety nine point eight percent of the time go with the Air. And at price point as well, like I just did a quick on the Apple store because it's all up now. I also did like, say, if you wanted to spec out a MacBook Air, uh, 1.6 gig uh, and 8 gig of memory and 1.5 terabytes of storage is not the, exactly the same as the one terabyte on the iPad, but you're paying $2,399. So only about $160 you know, $60 more. So, uh, and you get a full laptop just paid for, for Mojave. That. That's what you exactly. paid for. Yeah. Software, <laughs> for Mojave. Your Mojave that's tax. You yeah. I, I have... Yeah. I have a lot of people in the chat room saying, I don't want to pay an Apple tax. They're all seeing this as an Apple mm -hmm. tax. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. these higher like priced products. It is It is a lot It's a lot of money. Um, Apple is extracting money from us, Mayor Judav says. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, they're all like <laughs> freaking out that, about this. That is true. Wait, that what is are they? What are they freaking space. out of exactly? Are they freaking out about the the MacBook Air p- price hike or well, the iPad or all of the just above? Just all of the above. Oh, they're saying two thousand dollars for an iPad is insane. Yeah. yeah, even the even the, you're we're right. Has gotten more expensive, so much more expensive. The the app. Apple Pencil got more. This, Did this, Apple by the way, I'd expensive? like to point out this. This is probably the longest we've ever talked about an Apple Pencil, but <laughs> that that, <laughs> that goes to true. show that is true. It's a metaphor for the the whole thing right now. I mean, like I'm paying one hundred and thirty dollars for a stylus. Was this? Uh, yeah, was this uh, the most exciting product to come out? Uh, we're, the we're Apple le- Pencil. I think the, the we're leaving behind probably the best product to come out of here is the Mac Mini uh, for yeah. the price. If we're talking about what you get for the price, I would probably put the Mac Mini out there for the but best. I think a lot of people that 11 inch at 64 gigabytes for 799 is going to be a compelling iPad. I think they're going to sell a lot of them at that price yeah. point. Yeah. Actually, what, what were you saying of Mac Mini? Okay, with the Mac Mini, you're not you can't really take it anywhere. So it's like I mean, you yeah. could. But like most could, people buy the Mac the Mini like yeah. they Again, like I like I know a lot of people have Mac Minis who are either maybe they work from home or they have a business where they run a, you know, a little server on a Mac Mini, things like that. But I I don't know anybody I, or if I do, I, I know very few people would choose a Mac Mini over the MacBook Air, the new MacBook Air. Yeah, I would agree sense. with that. Like yeah. Apple was almost marketing it like like it was an Apple TV almost. Like just the way it looked on the table, mm-hmm. it looked like it was an Apple TV or something. Yeah, it put it like under your Apple, Apple TV. TV, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. totally. Definitely. You, I um, would imagine actually that little Mac Mini would be a perfect little computer for like um for kids, like in school who are like ten. Like, that seems like a good, like, home computer for a kid. Going back to Apple's roots of homebrew computing, you know, with the Mac (laughs) Mini. I don't know. I think that Mac Mini didn't get enough love, I think, uh, at least from the social reception that I've seen. I think it's finally – It's. I'm so glad that it has got a refresh, even though the design is – completely the same essentially <laughs> and um, disappointingly i didn't we didn't see any kind of hints towards uh the pro market in yeah, terms I was of disappointed the, yeah that. because we do know obviously there's a mac pro coming in 2019 no hints nothing dropped about that at all i think that was a bit of a disappointment especially to the apple crowd that is been asking apple time and time again please look after the pro market the creatives but i think that have driven apple in the past but tim cook has addressed that and i think he's made it pretty clear that it's coming don't worry guys so i, I don't i don't think that that giving them a tease would like unless it would um, excite people though because i you know these products yes these products are you know totally fine and and used by these creatives but you know what happened last time they teased a product yeah i mean apart from that yeah well exactly (laughs) that's not that's a good point maybe maybe they did hold back a little bit pro product they teased i mean they teased the original trash can mac pro (laughs) well before it was on sale and that was huge it was i i just hope that apple learns from the air like yeah. Yeah, man. The there are well, so many update. problems. <laughs> like, if you want to make stuff for the pro thing. market, you have to update literally every six months. I I know <laughs> yeah. people in, or make in it Hollywood updatable. who are video editors. They, they are editors, or yeah, make it very upgradable. Because the thing is, is almost every video editor I know in this town hates Mac right now because there's like I I want to edit on it, but I can't upgrade it. Like I cannot upgrade it, and so now I've got a you know I've got a switch, or you know I can't. If you want to market to the pro, you know, to the pro group of people who are using these for, you know, power users who are using this for work, like you've got to start upgrading this stuff every six months. You can't, you can't even have a, an annual upgrade cycle. Like it's just, that, that is a wild thing to me, like to, to be like, oh yeah, well, we're going to get to it. It's like, um, no, I hate to break this to you, but you're literally losing pro users as the years go by that you don't do true. anything. Well, and I, I'd say there's something that was really neat to me was seeing that new MacBook Air plugged into the uh, the uh, Black Magic. I can't remember what it's called, the EPU or whatever it's called. Is that right? Yeah, EPU. Because yeah. mm. um, I think that's the nice like in between for someone who is not maybe a dedicated full time video editor, but someone who might video edit once in a while or make music once that's in a while. So you could plug that and then get it to go. Because I think that combination would still cost less than that iPad fully spec'd out no, and an right. Apple pencil. I feel like so you get expensive. a lot of, a lot of computing power and accessories and dongles and still come under yeah. that um, iPad price. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what else? I, um, is this... I, yeah, I was go ahead, Ashley. Really quick. I want to show, I want to show you guys something um, that I saw when I was out in, uh, I went to, I was on vacation. I went out to, to London and we went to the tower of London and there's a, uh, I found a stylus from the 12th, I think it's the 12th century. Yeah, 14th oh, wow. century. Wow. This is the original Apple Pencil. 
Oh, my wow. God, does it charge wirelessly? It, was it, <laughs> it definitely doesn't cost $129, That's though. That's for sure. It wasn't $129. Maybe 129 <laughs> Roman coins. I don't know. Sure. Like Roman like they carved them out of bone, Buckets and then they would, gold. like, they had wax writing tablets. And they, but it, this stylus was, like, it was it was so small. It was this big. It was so little. You think um, they had, like, a, like really a, Johnny cool. Ive, a Johnny Ive figure back then. It's like, this year's wax has been upgraded to the new <laughs> ultra writing yeah. wax. The new We've wax. gotten rid of the for that juice. <laughs> yes. History it's, it's less waxy but something. more glossy mm, made from the Murano glass from Venice <laughs> I have to do the Johnny Ive I, I've lost the Johnny Ive She's accent lost her Johnny Ive I, I, need, I need some more coffee um, what else on, on social and on CNET Live has been kind of gaining some traction what other questions or comments concerns that people have been having <laughs> I gotta be honest. Most people are just like, "Nope, too rich for my blood. I'm out." Yeah, that, like, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. that has been like the general. Like, yep. Almost every comment I've seen is like, "No, no, um, no, no, thanks." Actually, I got a question it's, for like, you. It's so, kind of crazy. Um, I don't know if you saw they had a picture of an Xbox next to the new iPad Pro, obviously uh, hinting at how powerful the processing is in the new iPad enough to play gaming. What do you think of that? I think that's really interesting. Um, I think that we, so on Stream Economy, we talked about Project Stream, which is Google's uh, efforts to sort of allow people to play really high quality games in, uh, you know, 60 frames per second on their computer uh, through streaming. And um, I think this, I think this iPad is really, to me, very compelling in the way of gaming wise, like, I get that you're, I mean, I get that your graphic your GPU keeps getting upgraded and good for you, and that's cool. But I think if you're going to go the gaming route, like you're going to have to show me more than what amounts to Fallout Shelter for Assassin's Creed, which looked really cute and the graphics looked really awesome. And the you know NBA stuff was amazing looking. But the thing is, is I think most people who are playing more sort of like non-casual games, like if you're playing an assass an actual Assassin's Creed game or NBA 2K, like you're playing that on a console. Like you're not, you're not playing that on an iPad. So I don't know. I mean, it does feel like maybe it's Apple trying to be like, hey, look, we can be like Switch. You can take it with you. You can play video <laughs> games and it does more Plug stuff. Plug it into your TV. Like, it definitely yeah. feels, yeah, it feels like Nintendo definitely disrupted that space a lot. And I, I think that we're going to start seeing a little bit more uh, a little bit more in the way of, you know, all console manufacturers. And I guess you could consider the iPad a console I, if you wanted to, if you really stretched. Um, but uh, but I think we're going to start seeing, uh, I mean, we see it at every every single keynote about iPad. I mean, they're really into games on iPad. I mean, Infinity Blade was such a big deal when the first iPad came out. You know, it was like such a, everybody freaked out. Um, and so I think now, like, we're starting to see them sort of get into that space. And I almost wonder if it's, indicative of some kind of deal or something that they might be working on uh, to get other games manufacturers or, you know, production houses and developers to, to come on board and maybe maybe offer a streaming service, something similar to Project Stream, or uh, to, you know, work, I don't think they're ever going to work with Google, but they'll work with all those game developers, so to do something really cool. So it, it, I'm very curious, like, kind of where they're going there, but Obviously, this iPad is really well suited to games. Um, and, and, and the price of it, I could awesome. buy an Xbox and a Nintendo Switch for the price, <laughs> for the of, price of the two thousand. So you could yeah. literally buy all iPad, three yeah. consoles. Yeah, you could buy all three the price consoles of and and VR. You could buy Oculus. You could buy <laughs> yes. you buy like all the really games. Exactly. Twenty three hundred dollar one. You could literally have yeah. so many games, so many consoles. Like again, like it's just such a weird thing to me to have Apple be like touting their game stuff. I would have rather seen augmented reality again. Like show me the updates. Show me how you are pushing the envelope there yeah. as opposed to just showing me another high res game. Like, okay, good for you, 120 frames a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's a good that's a good kind of segue into what we didn't get. You mentioned we mentioned the air power mat. Obviously, we we didn't get or nor will we ever get at this point. Who knows the air power mat? But some of the <laughs> yeah, what are they going to call it when it ever comes out? The, Not air power, yeah. it's power yeah. air. It's super powered air power. Um, so we didn't air we max. didn't get that, which was I I mean disappointing, but probably expected at this point. We didn't get the the charging case for the air pods, um, which is also expected because they expected, didn't yeah. they didn't they didn't put the pad <laughs> they just the, just the ipad but the um the other thing we didn't get was the the smaller home pod which 
could come early next year. And you mentioned, you know, no VR headset. We Apple has been working supposedly on a VR headset for a while and still no mention, no tease. I was more surprised that there was no tease of that. Um, or really? I th- I think it would be highly I think it would still be in such early stages. But and but not rece- really. But They've given, had a long leeway time at this point. But given the reception uh, to heads Magic Leap, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Given that Magic Leap, yeah. you know, obviously has had such a contentious um I guess uh, amount of press around it and you know, a lot of people that didn't feel like it quite lived up to the hype and especially with things like the red phone as well, maybe you know, they're waiting for the these kind of companies to go out and kind of you know trailblaze and sort of get that negativity out of the way and then when they are ready to reveal something you know maybe it won't be at the same level but at least people will be more used to it and the reception might be yeah. a, a little bit more warm for them because right now yeah. i i don't think people are, are ready they're really not let's, at least at least in terms of the mass point because so so Apple, maybe yeah oh go, go ahead vanessa maybe WWDC would that still be too soon you guys think oh yeah I mean I I feel like you know it's taken a while for you know Apple to start talking about AR as particularly and showing Mm. some demos that are good but I mean when it comes to the you know real life use cases the most I think the most useful thing for me is that measure app within iOS 12 and that's just such a good stepping stone to be able to show like how AR can be used you know in for for things that people are actually going to want to use not necessarily oh I can put you know fairies and forests in in my living room I mean that's cool but I think that you have to start small and then you have to build up and they've shown demos you know the Google Maps where you have like you follow the fox to your direct like Stuff like that is like, <laughs> yeah. it's such right. a smart, simple thing. Yeah. But those are going to be the things that kind of bring it to like actual people using it. That's the it. thing. I think it's a slow and steady race, and Apple knows that. And they know that going too hard too soon is going to scare off people. And, and it's not going to be something yeah. that's going to be to their advantage well, in the long run. And no one's going to have money after and, buying all these iPads. Yeah, I'm not going to have money to buy a yeah, headset broke. from Apple. We can't buy anything How else? much do you think that thing would cost? It would cost like $4,000. <laughs> we broke a million billion dollars. But well, Lexi exactly. makes this great point, which is, Apple traditionally, and I mean, we, we see this every year, they are very conservative with new technology. And, you know, how long did it take them to get away from the 30 pin connector? Like, I mean, it, <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is classic Apple. Like this is, it takes them a really long time. They come in late to, the, late to the game a lot of times in terms of technology, but they do it really well. And so, um, you know, some Android fans out there, I'm sure you're like yelling at me right now going, no, they don't. But, but generally speaking, they do things very well. Like, look, I'm looking at you, Siri. You're the exception. But, like, <laughs> Apple, oh. Apple is very much like a company that will look at, okay, like, now that this technology has been out for a while, how can we put our spin on it? How can we make it very patently Apple? And, and then they do it. And people generally really like it. So, I mean, you know, we've had face filters and AR stuff for a while with, you know, with Snapchat and, and Instagram stories and all that stuff. But then finally, you know, with Memoji, like that was Apple's way of doing it. And so this is not a new thing like for Apple. And I think they're going to wait a really long time for AR. I think this is why like it's going to take them so long to develop something like these glasses. Um, but, uh, but let's see, uh, I got a, I, I brought a magic, uh, a magic eight ball. So Vanessa, let's so, just ask a couple questions uh-oh. here. Will air power <laughs> so, ever come out? No, no not the likely. Magic eight ball. The eight, what? This says outlook good. This says outlook oh, good. Oh, okay. That, uh, that outlook eight ball good. is sadly, sadly optimistic, but okay. So before we, <laughs> before we end, I think there's four products that I'm very, very curious about, including that VR headset and the AirPower mat, which is funny because the AirPower mat should be a lot easier to deliver than the VR headset. But at this point, in order of most uh, recent to to most far off in the future, uh, we have the VR headset from Apple. The Apple branded car, whether that's just Apple car, Star- Apple, car. Star- no. Apple car, or hold on, hold on, we're we're Apple dreaming, Bottom we're chair. dreaming, we're dreaming <laughs> big. <laughs> so Apple car, VR Apple headset, rides. or uh, <laughs> Air Power mat, and eyeglasses. I've been hearing about eyeglasses for a while. Too. Air Power mat, which is funny because we're putting the Air Power mat at this point on the same like turf as the Air uh, 
Apple Car and the Have VR headset. Car. That's how. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what do you think is most likely of of these three dreams? The the, the headset, yeah. like yeah. hands can down. We, the can we throw in? So can we throw in open in source right FaceTime? Just just throw. Oh, iMessage as well <laughs> on, on Android and iOS. Let's go there. Why not? Let's, there. Like, let's just go crazy. Come on. <laughs> I think. That's... Oh wait, I forgot. Foldable phone. Oh well, you know. What's the most likely? Not foldable phone for not? Apple. Not really. For, well, not for next you year. You think VR headsets is gonna come before? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. yeah I think form factor Ashley? wise. I think, and I think, well, VR. Uh, it weren't that wasn't it an AR headset? I, like, yeah, I, it is. I think it's be more like magic. Sorry, headset. AR, AR. Oh, that's like what that, I meant. Yeah. 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 AR headset I think, or I what's coming the first? AR headset is the thing we. I think. Well, okay. So if it can, if they can get it together, it's going to be air power because they, you know, this isn't <laughs> something they've probably wanted for a really long time. But <laughs> okay, who knows? Um, but yeah, I think uh, <laughs> barring that, I think it's going to be the uh, the AR headset. But it won't be next year. I don't. I don't think so. Not at all. I think Apple is, moves too slowly for that. I'm going to go with uh, air. Sorry. I'm going to go with the foldable phone and then AR headset and then air power map. We've been thinking. <laughs> and then, I and love then it. sorry, and then and then car and wow. then air power. I, lo I look wow. forward to 2030 wow. when you're right. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think we got this is a really long game that we're playing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We'll be here yeah, doing so. a show and we'll be 10 years old by exactly. exactly. We're all going to have long gray I was going to say, like, oh, yeah. 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 Be 65. It'll be her retirement party. And she'll be like, I knew it. No air power. Not yet. I love it. I look forward to that day for sure. Me too. I think that's bionic eye yeah. yeah i think that's a great place yeah. to wrap it up for today <laughs> ashley thank you so much for joining us and for all I your input fun. on cnet ashley! live yay thanks ashley and thank you so much patrick vanessa Beecham. thank you and thank you to Bye. you for watching on cnet live hope you enjoyed and vanessa is going to be back with the apple core which is going to wrap up all of uh today's news and more you can yeah she's she's ready I'm like to i'm out right. for the day what are you talking about Lexi? <laughs> no <laughs> not today home. but she'll be back so stay tuned for that and make sure to stay tuned to cnet.com for all of the latest updates and thanks for watching see you later Bye -bye.